Shit, what's this podcast called? Discourse of Human Events. The, the discourse is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Everything's okay, I'm just trying to act my age. Yeah, I wanna know. Uh, so at 200, we'll have to change it up. Yeah. So it's what? No, I thought we'd do a special, but I don't know what this 200 coming? special would yeah, be. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what would we do for a 200 Cause... special? We did a cool one for the 100. Uh, anal no. beats. Nobody... Oh, that's what we're, we're, we're going <laughs> to do, not? anal beats for the 200 special? As long as we get to do them on you. Live? Yeah. We're going to do a podcast with, like, anal beats in there, like... Every ten minutes, they go up one more. One more. Oh. We'll see how long we can see, go. See who gets the furthest in the anal <laughs> bead. Well, okay, that. but it's gonna be me doing Zach and Chloe doing this next. Yeah. Okay. We're in. <laughs> I don't know. Loop it up, baby. <laughs> I was hoping the other way. I'm gonna win this contest. Whatever. It's competition. Zach, 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 you can. I'll, this is one where I will just pretend that. I oh, it hurts. <laughs> But but Zach will be doing it for us. Yeah, because I'll be here doing it out of vengeance. <laughs> I guess we gotta go to the anal bead store. It's just where you got the dildo. Mm. <laughs> Is there a store called Anal Bead Store? The anal That'd be awesome. Store. Anal beads are <laughs> us. A, a sex shop that just specializes in anal beads only. I, I want to see that commercial. <laughs> Bye-bye, anal are you in the market for anal beads? <laughs> well, we've got any anal bead for every I anus you could possibly have. Vaginal beads. Off yeah. One time. I and honestly didn't know that was a thing. Off vaginal what? beads. Uh, how are they different vaginal from anal beads? beads? Are they just slightly larger? No, they're actual. Okay, so I didn't know this, and I'm very glad because when she texted me about them, I was at work, and I was like, something tells me I should not look these up at work. So I pulled up my phone, and <laughs> I think they're, they're called something like Benoit balls. Where Benoit. Something like that. They're I don't fancy. remember. But they're not. They're not like. They're like gravity balls, and they're literally just... The fuck's a gravity ball? So, it's just so one ball at a time. So, Kegel exercise, right? Say what? They're all separate. Mm -hmm. What'd you say, Chloe? Uh, for the Kegel. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's what they're and for. And you put them up inside you, so it's not like they're on, like, a string or anything. They're literally individual. Oh, they're individual balls. And you put okay. them up inside you. Oh. And I... You can play she's pool all up in there. <laughs> yeah, she's telling me about it, and I was like, I wish I had never heard about this. Hey, and girl, you playing pocket pool over there? <laughs> pocket pool. <laughs> that's, that's totally pocket pool. It's the worst thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> Anal beads are us. <laughs> Today no, no matter your butthole size, we got the beads for you. Today I just felt worse. <laughs> <laughs> So what else is in the news besides anal beats? The only big thing is in Columbus. Oh shit, the shooting? What? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only big thing. You know what? The girl oh. that was trying to stab a girl. All of this is definitely, oh. yeah, that's definitely one of the ones where I'm like, okay, Black Lives Matter, I don't know if you should get behind like this one because the chick was definitely trying to stab a chick. She probably should have been shot. Yeah. Wasn't the big thing, though, that, like, she was a certain age and they <laughs> shot her four times in the stomach and that were, like, the big old depression? But I don't know if most so people So before, a, during the whole, like, jury thing, I didn't know getting, like, stabbed. She was stabbing. It was like, 15-year-old get yeah. shot. That's like, that's so horrible. And then it's like, oh, yeah, she's trying to stab you. Yeah, in, in the actual <laughs> video, she literally says, I'm going to stab you, motherfucker, yeah. right before she gets shot. Yeah. Look, I'm not so sure that you should shoot somebody four or five times, but maybe one shot would be good. So you thought about stabbing somebody. You've never been in front of a cop and tried to stab somebody. Mostly because <laughs> yeah. people wouldn't step onto my property. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Yeah, see, here's the thing. It's, if I was the one doing the stabbing, then I, you know, I feel like that cop would use excessive force. But if I was the person about to get stabbed, then I think... 
Oh, Perfect yeah. Perfect amount a few horse. more times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, not enough. <laughs> it really is, though. Because if I was stabbing, I'd feel justified in my stabbing. Yeah. Yeah, and, it's, and I'm from Florida, where if anybody comes into your property and you tell them to get off, it's a standard and they don't, ground. Mm-hmm. I'm, yeah, I can totally stab them. Yeah, I don't think we have that in Ohio. I think you do in, like, Texas. Uh, actually, I think Ohio Florida. changed to a standard ground. It's, I think it's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, because that was the... I thought they were a maybe-ish state because that one guy was in Florida, right? From forever ago? Yeah, so Ohio governor signed standard ground law in January really? of this year. Yeah. That's why I said it just, like, oh. just became a standard ground. Mm-hmm. Sweet, we get to stab people. Well, no, you do. You have to I'm gonna move first, back. I think, and then you can stop that. Oh, here I go stabbing again. Yeah. <laughs> California is like I'm pretty sure the exact opposite. Like you're supposed to run. Yeah. Like legally, and you're th- supposed then to run. They assume that you can run there. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you're in California. Everyone's healthy. You can run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So can the guy stabbing you? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the problem. The guy with the knife can also run. <laughs> Don't know if you ever thought of that. Well, no, because he's supposed and to And now you're giving him a back shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. The stabbers, they always are bad runners. The only time they get you is They stab you because they're lazy. You're real fucked when the, the track athlete is the stabber. <laughs> I'm a three-time hurdle champion. At least on a scholarship. He's yeah. Not even there. Usain Bolt was going to come <laughs> at me. Usain Bolt. <laughs> he was on a stabbing spree. <laughs> and I was like, we well, it is California. I have to run. Technically, I have to run. <laughs> well, that's when you trip and you fall, and then you put your knife upwards. <laughs> oh, no, I fell. <laughs> oh, so. And then he walked into my knife seven times. So that's a new thing. So we can stand our yeah. ground here. No. I'm totally getting a gun. <laughs> oh. Are you, do you have a gun, Zach? No, I don't. Either. No, we were going to borrow one from your dad. I don't either. Yeah. Yeah, dad has a Yeah, we thought one. about borrowing You'll one. You'll be excited if you ask for one. Yeah. If if the economy starts to collapse, I'll definitely be like, I uh, need one of those. I keep a knife on me yeah. at all times, though, and I tell everybody that in the bank. She sleeps with a machete, too. Really? Well, yeah, because we have a whole... I'm surprised they let you have a knife in well, the bank. Well, it's in my purse, but I tell everyone that I work with because we have a whole, like, if there's a shooter scenario, we're supposed to run, hide, fight. So I'm like, look, if you can't run or hide, there's a mm-hmm. knife in my purse. So fight. <laughs> yeah. More like she's going to skip And you also one and tell two. the girl that's talking behind your back a couple <laughs> more times about her knife in your purse. <laughs> Nicole, have you been practicing your running? I used to run track. Yep, see? If she becomes a stabber, you're fucked. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the uh, Ohio Stand Your Ground is now a thing. Hmm. Probably for the best. Okay, but I don't think that lady was standing, or was that on her house? I think it was I like a, know. like, uh, what are they called? It was them? in front of a residential. No, but I think she was like. Yeah, a, I don't know um, if it was hers. I don't know, I don't know who's. God, what is it? Oh, she was like a foster, foster care. Right? Yeah, that's what it's called. That's somebody? what I was trying to get foster. But I don't know. I think it was a foster house? home. Or it was the other girl in a foster really home? Because it's not really your parents. But I think if it's a foster care, that is your house. Like that's your. Where but you temporarily, live. Yeah. your house. But can you stand your ground against thing. somebody? I don't know the details other than I saw the video of her about to stab. What's that? I don't know any of the details other than I saw her about to stab somebody and I read she was in a foster care. Yeah, that's pretty much all I know. Like I don't know why she was trying to stab people. I'm well, just saying, you're a 15 year old girl. There's a lot of other 15 year old girls that will bully you to the point. Yeah, of hold on, wait. What if what if she was yeah. about to oh, be I'm stabbed? Sure lots of them morning. deserve it. We don't know what happened before this. But yeah, but I don't know. Like maybe she instigated it, and then it was a tit for tat that escalated. Yeah. You know, that's also the thing. Plenty of people deserve to be stabbed. That's true. Lots of people. I like. I have a list of people <laughs> I would love to just stab. I, All right. There's so many Nicole, people. Let's keep a tab. I am ready to stab. It's good that we're yeah, working from home right don't. now. <laughs> mm. Zach would be fired. <laughs> Just keep the, his tab a bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I do feel like um, tensions are... Does it seem like in California tensions and like people are, have a shorter fuse or at least you have a shorter fuse after the pandemic? I do. Like right now? like 
I do, exactly. but that, like I try not to go out as much because I know like yeah, something will set me off and I'll yeah. like I come I anger easily. Yeah, see that yeah. I feel the same way. Somehow my anger just comes yeah. quicker. It's because he's only doing jujitsu yeah. two times a week instead of three. Well, I've been doing it three now. <laughs> I think it's just, I don't, you don't interact with other people, and you don't, like... So you have, like, a set amount of bullshit you can deal with in a day. Oh, yeah. And, like, you know, it's, it's like, spread across the whole week where you've dealt with this much, and you've given a shit. So now you have all this energy to deal with bullshit. Now just the slightest thing, and they get 100% of it. Is, is it you more... You know what I mean? That's what I kind of feel is like it Is it more like you... Since you don't have to deal with other people's bullshit as much because you're not in an office setting or anything, yeah. I see what you're saying. It's something so like, like that. So like now people give you bullshit, you're just like motherfucker. Mm. I could see that. If only I knew where you lived. <laughs> Except yeah. with me, I deal with the public and all their personal information, so it's like I do know where they live. Yeah, but you ha- you didn't have to work for a mm-hmm. home, so you still interact with like co-workers on a daily basis that was fine but it was like yeah. everybody that came was extra shitty because they couldn't do it yeah because they're the people I was working dealing from home with, yeah, i was dealing fears. with all of you stupid motherfuckers yeah exactly that's what we're saying that's <laughs> that's the problem you were dealing with the short fuse people yeah i did so there was like a health insurance call where i went off on somebody and i normally don't do that like i just started the screaming at the top call. of my lungs yeah like about well about the oh ability, oh oh I got right? you, I got you and then they gave me half off <laughs> how did wait they really did how's healthcare was, uh, you just bitch but about it, it was their get... mistake it's fucking retarded. I didn't think healthcare What's was that? a negotiable thing where you can complain about it and be like I'm oh but it was they totally fucked oh, up okay. like they I gave them my health insurance card three times and they didn't charge it once they kept sending me a bill saying you have no health insurance uh and three times well, here's the thing and I just exploded <laughs> and started calling him fucking incompetent <laughs> and like like I don't know I went off yeah and then, see that's how I feel I, I totally get it yeah and then I felt bad afterwards though because the lady I went off on was obviously just a customer service representative yeah. And then the guy from billing that's in charge of billing later called me back, and he's the one that cut it off half, and then apologized yeah. profusely and all this stuff. I feel like there's a weird cycle, though, of that kind of stuff happening. Like, people dealing with the public are dealing with people with short fuses, and so they get shorter fuses because they keep dealing with people with short fuses, and it's just a cycle going on right now. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to apologize. I did at the end after I was done yelling at her because I realized it wasn't her fault. But I was like... I'm sorry that I went off (laughs) on you. I know it. That was months ago, though. I don't know. But normally I wouldn't. Normally I keep my cool. Yeah, that's what I... uh, Normally with customer service people, it's pretty easy. If anything, phone prompts set me off more than the person. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Dude, I want to break my... I know. I'll Press start when it says... Yeah. Say yes. Yes! You dumb Is motherfucker! You yes! Or Is done! Is what you wanted? Yeah. Are Dude. You sure? Voice prompts never fucking work. I know. Ever. Did you say you wanted me to kill your family? <laughs> Seriously. How do they... It always fucks up. In uh, working in insurance, we have to call other insurance companies and banks all the time. I'm sorry. And so we have to deal with those fucking things so much. On behalf of all banks, I'm sorry. It's they're so, so bad. <laughs> and they're just so dumb, too. Because it's just 90% of the time. So, like, what they're trying to do is guide you to an automated response. Yeah. Right? But it never works. And they don't want you to. Yeah, we to have a system for that. They're called computers. <laughs> if I had a guaranteed systematic question, just send me to your website and you'll give me the automated response that I need. You don't need to detect my voice. Yeah. You don't need me to punch buttons on a phone. It's very easy. I look it up always before I call. And if you didn't have the answer, I'm fucking calling for that. Also, reason. why can't those um, online. Why don't you, like, have a tree that you can click through that will give you the number to call that will go directly to a person in that area? Sometimes yeah. they do. Exactly. Or like sometimes people will call yeah. an actual physical location. No, you know what I've learned? Like, so a lot of them just hit random buttons. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Just, if you just, just want to say, Slam the zero button, dude. Yeah, zero yeah. will get you to, to an actual yeah. customer service person. Or 
the whole reason we have prompts is to try to avoid certain customers that call all the time. Like I have a lady who's so mm. disoriented at this point that she she'll call me and I know she is to ask the date. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> some some companies have caught on to this though, and some insurance companies, if you try to slam any button, it will literally disconnect you mm -hmm. and you have to call back. No matter where you're at really? in the tree, and that's really we don't aggravating. Understand what you're asking for. Yeah, they'll do yeah. that. And be like, please try again. Beep. See, Does that's why I think you? if you hit random, not zero, because random they think something's malfunctioning on there. Yeah, that might be the that it's, might be the it's goal. It's literally just, just zero. Bah, 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 bah. So I always tell people just keep hitting zero. Yeah, but some people don't let you go hit zero. Uh, I'm gonna put the dogs upstairs. They're yeah, that's good. they're eating something, and I don't. <laughs> Come on, girl. Hmm? Yes, phone, phone prompts are one of those technologies okay. that needs to go away. No, you're not going to use it anymore. Yeah, there's no reason for them to have ever existed. Uh -uh. Other than, I guess, the the terrible people that call because they don't understand computers but and they just call too those much. Those people still go through phone prompts, though. I know, but they're, hello? <laughs> What's today's date? <laughs> this is a bank lady. <laughs> This is a fucking bank. It's just to give like a little like you have to work to earn what it is today's date because it'll discourage some of them. You know what you should them. do, babe? Next time she calls, tell her it's like the, the wrong date and no, wrong year and everything. Just really fuck her up. She's such a really nice person. Yeah. You can only get a ride. No. 1885. Yeah, exactly. It's 1885, January 2nd. I can't. She's so nice. She's so sweet, but like literally. Over... We just landed on the moon. It's 19. Over the past year, she's slowly been losing it more and she's already in like a healthcare facility. I could not do that to her. <laughs> she gets a ride in like a giant like elder care facility van <laughs> <laughs> so she can pay her rent to the healthcare facility. Man, Zach, remember we had the idea for you to like for this podcast just bullshit a job yeah, yeah, yeah. and like just take the calls and do retarded stuff. That's what I want you to do. If I if I had money Close and I didn't need off. a job, I would totally do it. I yeah. still want him to do just... Tinder. Tinder? <laughs> what? Remember you were going to do a whole segment You want Zach him to do Tinder. Tinder? What was the Zach Does Tinder? Like? Oh! No, we didn't have that. We had to judge people on uh, dating websites. I could totally do that. Do you want to judge I people on dating totally websites? I could totally do that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do that. It. Let's, let's do it. Uh, because... Do, yeah, do you want to bring up your, uh, your website, Zach? Um, what's the online one? Uh, 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 Match.com? Uh, no, no, uh, okay, no, no. Cupid. There's a free one. Um, yeah, uh, is that one? I think so. But me and Zach talked one okay, time. Okay, Cupid, I think that's right. It's a free one. I think so. Bumble. I think I was on OK Cupid. What did you meet each other on? You're still on Bumble, babe. I don't know. What is Bumble? That's how me and him met. It's like where oh shit, it memorized. Well, he's still oh, shopping on Bumble, okay, Nicole? Hmm. Well, I'm sorry. What'd you say? I said he's still shopping on Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing was, I was also <laughs> dating women on Bumble, and I was telling him about all the difficulties with that. What a coincidence! I was trying to date women too. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't realize how shitty <laughs> women are on dating websites. They're almost as bad as guys. Like they'll put like their faces through like several hundred filters, and I'm like, are you a bear or a person? <laughs> All right, here, I'm going to stream. <laughs> and they get that angle that no matter how fat they are, they can shed a few, like, 20 pounds. <laughs> 20 is not as much as you think it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, going live. I'm streaming. The worst part is, is when I got their numbers, some of them are still saved in my phone, and they'll randomly, like, suggest their Facebooks and Instagrams to me, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't, I don't want this. Well... You know, I don't, so, I don't know about the faces, though. I feel like, I don't know, maybe this is a stereotype. At least one pair of a lesbian couple is always, like, ugly anyways. No, the girls Not always, I man. Were, is that? Some of them I was like, I yeah. don't know why they're talking to me. Like, I would be the ugly, ugly one in this situation. I don't know, yeah, there's definitely some lesbian couples that are, like, they're both, like, the Barbie type. But okay, generally, like, I agree with like, you. Just but not famous always. ones. Like, what's the girl on Arrested Development? Uh, Portia. Portia. Portia De Rossi. She's with Ellen. Okay. Yeah. 
I, I know which one's the hot one then. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I agree with you. The It's like a majority of the time, right? The worst part is, is when you yeah. um, are talking to a girl and then she tells you that she's married to a guy and then she's like, but do you want to have sex with both of us? And I'm like, uh, well, I guess I have sex with you though, right? <laughs> I, I I went live. I'm on my okay Cupid thing. I had to okay. I had to restore my. No no no. We don't want to be on yours, Zach. We were gonna set up. Oh, you want uh, want me to make a, a account? I thought we were just judging. Yeah people. yeah yeah. Uh, how do I love? We it? can do that too. But I thought we would judge like set up an account and either be like just a we don't give a shit guy or a we're making Joe Larry a real again? whore girl. Well, plenty of I don't give a shit guys on these websites. Oh, we can outdo them. Let's see. I want to see how many responses we can get. Because there's a whole thing. I got to give a real email, though. I was going to say, there's, um... Uh, they, will they do mail in Let me see. Or can you do a plus one? Say, do you want my fake email? Hold on. Let me, let me try this. Let me see if they actually send you a thing. There's a whole website where you... It's called, like, Roast a Scrote, and it's where girls post bad images. Roast a Scrote? Where, like, girls will roast bad online dating profiles of guys. Uh, I'm sure there are a What lot should our name material. be? Because I don't want to make it Joe Larry. <laughs> Chris. Joe Lawrence. Chris. Lawrence. Joe Lawrence. Wait, wait, wait. Although, that's wrong, though. Because there was a famous guy, Joey Lawrence, right? I don't know. From Blossom. Hey. Oh, my God. How far are back? You, oh. you remember <laughs> that, is that? Is that the last What's thing that? that you've watched? Uh, 98, 98. yeah. 98 sounds he do, good. He can totally be. I just, I was actually alive during that time. Yeah, and then the chick from Blossom was on an episode of... Oh my God. I'm sp oh my God. Oh, what is... I'm surprised you know that. You, I don't know what year you were born, but you're definitely younger than me, and I barely know What's this. Joe looking for? Hookups? New friends? Short-term dating? Long-term dating? Uh, let's short-term to long-term. No, the chick from Blossom was on an episode of What Not to Wear. Looking for yeah, but how do you know who she is? You only know her from that, cause she that was like early '90s. That had been like I was born in '92. Oh, bro, we gotta have like born pictures in and shit. No, that would have been yeah, you would have been a baby, dude. We have to have pictures to upload. We're to watching make it a, as a, baby. a profile. You just go hmm. online. Google. No, 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 don't go on there. Yeah, go to Google. Go on Tumblr because Tumblr's oh. not um, image reversible. Oh, we can do super hot guys, and we'll totally get responses, even though we're no, pieces of shit. No, because girls reverse image search all the time. Do they all? I'm telling you right now, go on Tumblr. There we go. This looks... Are you really going to We're going to be an Asian guy? Yeah. Our Make response sure rate just went down. First of all. Okay, let me scroll down again. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> we can be, uh... That looks so space? stock photo. No, that's Taylor... That's... How about this? Guys and Taylor Swift's new butter. This looks good. But with yeah. the dog, too. That's so... Ah, Jesus Christ. That looks like my ex. Oh, you're getting responses with a dog, mm -hmm. right? Always talking about your exes. No, I'm not. <laughs> it literally looks like a guy that I dated. That's creepy. Here we go. Literally. All right, download. Let's just throw this in the downloads. Goes down. And it looks downloads. like a Joe, too. It looks like that could be a Joe. Yeah. He could be I a could Joe. I could give you a Joe off of my Facebook. What? We got the Joe. Okay. We gotta describe ourselves. Okay. There's so do, much work to start, start I'm a next. down to earth. No, 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 no. hold on. Boy. I'm fucking crazy. I'm done. <laughs> we wanna do. No, let's do. I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> I'll be uh, like the Joe in Down you. to earth boy, but I'm fucking crazy. I'm a down. How I'm do you down say earth, I'm, I'm down to crazy. earth crazy person without actually saying I'm down to earth crazy? No, no I'm, I'm down to earth, 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 but I'm fucking crazy. Because the show you, the guy's name is Joe. I'm down to earth with a little bit of crazy. <laughs> no, wild. Let's talk about getting a little Joe in you. <laughs> let's get a let's do, Joe let's, in you. Let's have fun with it. Just throw I crazy shit like that. <laughs> I hate you. Random capitalization. Okay, you fixed I, it. Okay, let's I go. <laughs> You're not oh. supposed to like it. <laughs> Oh, it's, no, how long do you want your relationship to last? A few uh, months to a year. No, 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 the rest of my life, all of the crazy yeah. things always keep Several me. years. Okay. Your ideal person would say... Your ideal person was one night. Let's very, very different. <laughs> Just, I'm going to turn this whore into a it wife. It makes no sense. <laughs> that's <laughs> the turn idea. Whore into a, which word describes <laughs> Intense. <laughs> Joe is definitely intense. intense. Your ideal person, she's, carefree. She's a carefree, cool girl. 
I should have put this as important to me. How important is religion and God in your life? Extremely somewhat important. What? Oh, extremely. <laughs> we can be now somewhat. Oh, Let's not because we're gonna so like disqualify women by saying that. How about we're gonna get Christian girls now? But it's not... um, Christian girls are. Yeah, they can be whack, dude. You're dating one. But... <laughs> See, see what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you ready to yeah, settle down right. and They're get crazy. married right now? Absolutely, you're ready down. Yes, you gotta say absolutely. All the crazy guys are always ready to tie it, girl. Get married, you. yes, settle down, no? How is that an answer? Because he's all over the okay. place, man. He's crazy. He's wild. He wants to tie you down, literally. Your ideal person would say, get married, yes, settle down, no. What the fuck does that even mean? It means you're not gonna settle down. Absolutely, since we this said there, you know, whatever. Sure, I'm gonna put that behind <laughs> Does Joe like discussing yes. politics? No, I don't He's care. He's a Trumper. Yeah. Yeah. Would you date someone who was in considerable debt? If I thought the debt were justified. <laughs> she's going to say yes. She really she thought cool. the Jets were going to win. <laughs> Did you get a doctorate? Is a tragical sign at all important in the North? Yeah. Oh god. Not being any crazy I, how can it be? That's so awful. This dude's all over the place. I love it. Which describes your political <laughs> beliefs? Other. We don't know. Conservative. <laughs> Jacobist. <laughs> a Jacobist. Did you say a Jacobist? <laughs> Could you date someone who was really messy? Like my life or my yeah. hair or my. Let's just skip apartment. this question. I don't like it. Which would you rather be? Weird. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want. Are you crazies. currently employed? No, because he's insane. Oh, you're, he's, yes, yes, because otherwise you won't get women. What are you talking women. about? Uh, a no, lot of no, the, the whole thing with women is they think that assholes know how to have sex, so no, you don't have a job. Not too late. I'm putting the ass. Oh, God, wait. Well, choose the better romantic kissing in Paris, kissing in a tent in the woods. Yeah, While he's crazy. While you're dead. In the woods, definitely. While you're dead. <laughs> Okay, we only got four more. Man, it's so much effort. I know. Is jealousy healthy in a relationship? Yes, he's so jealous. Yeah, he loves... Give me some of that jealousy. This is important to me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stab Wait, a bitch. is this how you met Chloe? <laughs> Do you like scary movies? Oh, yes. It yeah, reminds absolutely. him of life. Of course. Of course he likes scary movies. It's weird. Do you often find yourself worrying about things that you have no control no. of? No. No. I control, control over, over everything. everything. <laughs> That's funny. Which of the following types of intelligence do you value most? Logical, I'm social, I'm logical, because I'm the logical sex. Yeah. She better be fucking visual and artistic. When visual. Be logical, so. All right. What that's what we're playing this dude. It's the law. Oh, no, we need a fun number. Do we need this? No, 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 oh, just put a random number. Mine. I don't care. Oh, we will send a bare expectation yeah. code. Yeah, God damn it. mine, because I don't have no key Hold on. Just do a free texting number. Uh, they're so gonna know this. Oh, you think? Totally, I don't have an online dating profile. You just put mine. Uh, yeah, just go with it. I don't know your number. Um, or maybe she's this. shopping around for yeah, girls again. Exactly. You never know. It's not like it really matters. It's just a very. <laughs> they're gonna show up to the date expecting this guy with a dog, and they see Nicole. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joey. <laughs> I'm Joe. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't think you'd love me the way that I am, which is a woman. <laughs> okay, here. No, you should just say I've changed. <laughs> I I um I gained some breath and I got shorter, <laughs> but I do have a dog. Fine. <laughs> the operation went really well, as you can tell. All right, we're, we're finding us. So I thought we were I, supposed to judge our match. I swear to God, if I get text messages, I'm going to be so fucking mad. I think they just do that to confirm you have a phone. Oh, phone. hey, yeah, look at these girls well. with their awesome eyebrows. This is the same person. Ugh. I already yeah, hate she's crazy. all of them. Yeah, she's yeah because we made a crazy oh, person, person we met. And she's, she's, look. Wait, 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 go back. She has she's elf got, ears. She has elf ears. Go back. She's got, those are fake. You can buy those at that's the Renaissance Festival. That's a filter. Festival. I obviously... No, you can buy those at the Renaissance Festival. You sure it's not just a filter? Because her face is definitely filtered. Look, that's a filter. Okay, wait, wait. Let's let's send her an, el an elf-related message. Hold on. Wait, let's see what her summary is. She's introverted and likes... Manga, yeah. video games, moving, and painting. Currently reading Berserk. Oh. I like her. Breath of the Wild. I, uh -huh. I, I, could, I could talk to her. 
I thought we're the okay. Let, I, like I guess. Go ahead. I guess we're liking her. What, what's the what? Yeah, no, no, but look, we can, you can send a message, right? Can you? Uh, These women are significantly younger. That's I think what you I want. Have to I want to get responses, them. man. No, I want to get responses. I think you have to match with them click to on her. messages. Like most of that. Uh, she you wants to what? be monogamous, Pat. Yeah. Is that how that works? Yes. Oh, okay. But you can send you know, Click on her profile. Otherwise, like... View profile. Click view profile. Where's that at? See, I don't match with yeah. girls that have filters in every single freaking photo. This girl's got the dog face. See? You probably have to pay for premium to just message anybody. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll just judge then. Yeah, whatever. Just, she she just like didn't even, she didn't even finish her fucking thing. I love to these... tall about anything and can't She's wait tall about hear anything. from you. Message me, yeah. Oh, what did we say our age was? Uh, Born in 1998. April ninety eight. Ninety eight. God damn, we're like twenty. Okay, we're 23? four? 23? Yeah, 23. We 23. are young. 22. Well, we're on a dating app, man. 23. If you were born in April. Just send me an She's intro. Five I can't see likes. Not much of an agenda. Oh, I don't know. She's politically liberal and unemployed. That's okay. We only like them if they're hot, remember? Hot or not. Okay. This isn't good podcast material if we um, just click on based on pictures. I've literally seen this girl on Instagram. Yeah. Clueless about everything. I'm here to have fun and live life. She's, Connect four and Uno. Ooh. Um. Yeah. Please. I. I. I've matched with her once. Pass. Pass on this. <laughs> yeah. Now you know what I want to make a girl profile. No. Because they are so gonna get likes. Number one and two guys are gonna try much harder. Not- because these girls are just basically like, uh, whatever. Yeah, I, I do notice the female profilers are like, here's one little blurb. Yeah. Yeah, no, this, little, this lady has one about mine? sentence. I'd say I'm Yeah, because sh- yours didn't have this one This one bitch has, I have a great sense of humor. That's it. Then it's look at my I, pics. Because how many of these are fake themselves, too? No, because they have more Probably than one photo, at least. Oh, that's true. I don't know. Is that the same? Yeah, that's at least true. <laughs> What the fuck? This, whoa, 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 what this is, is that This stupid one? Instagram filter. Why oh, would yeah, you put I've that sent, on a dating I've profile? I sent you so many of those of myself. To show you have a quirky sense of humor. I'm quirky. I'm fairly introverted. She's Don't a gymnastics me. coach at an Olympic academy. Oh, she enjoys movies, TV, podcasts, books, audiobooks, and hey, comics. Hey, send her your podcast, That's really babe. unique, Zach. That's really unique. <laughs> yes. <your> podcast. <laughs> Joe's all about it. What do you know? We're liking everybody. They're gonna send us all the hottest ones that have the most. Well, likes. just like okay, all let's of them. Let's actually then. judge just what like we think of, of their pictures. Like, what do you think of this girl not reading her profile? Oh, she oh, has too on. much and only one picture. She's our first pass. Match on what matters. Okay, whoa, 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 go up. What? Like, if I'm initially looking at this, the very first picture, I thought it was the fat girl. She's not fat. But she put another one. She's why she's would fat. She... on the left? On the left is fat. Do you think I'm fat? But it's not that girl. <laughs> why would? What's that? Why would you put the first photo with another person? Because it shows you know that why? she messed up. And because she got her that... vaccine, guys. She's vaccinated. No, no, no. She's putting that one because the other one's way uglier than her. So it's like, just look at two of us. And which, which one's, one's better? better? Clearly like, it's guys me. Guys do that all the time. That was the worst part <laughs> about like trying to find guys on online dating is they always have group pics. And I'm like, you all look like the same white boy. Which one are you? So basically, she says, Call me daddy. Good one. we'll have no. to do another. Swipe on that shit. She's 18. She there are no rules. She sounds crazy as fuck. She's 18. Oh, we're out of likes. You can only like so many a day. All right, we'll have to. What is wrong with these apps? We'll have to. They want money, dude. We'll have to return to this one, which reminds me, we need to return to yeah. our. Uh, Joe Larry response. Relationship advice. Oh, Joe Larry, yeah. Do you still have the account? What was that on relationship advice? Here, I sent it to you. Remember, I sent you a text. Yeah, but link? it's on my phone. I, I will. Pull it I can up. search it here. I don't have to be on his account to find it. Well, here's the thing: is what was I, the title of it? I have the direct link because I li- I I liked it on my Reddit or whatever, and I sent it to you. My husband hit out a puppy. I don't know what hit out means, but I assume it means hit a puppy. And I can't look at him the same. Hit out? 
Yeah, he hit our what? puppy. Is that on here? Is that? The hus yeah, they're down, 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 down. My husband hit. My husband hit our. I think she meant our puppy, our not puppy, out. Yeah. Our puppy, yeah. Well, that's yeah. Pretty messed up, beating up a puppy. And then threw him. Yeah. And threw him. That's more upsetting. It's kind of fucked up to actually throw the puppy too. I'm like, damn. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. So dating profiles oh. have been monetized. More and more, it seems like. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, just think about it with the pandemic. Like, it's the how way did, to meet people. How did you do Bumble? How does Bumble work? Did you pay? Um, except, I did not. Um, no, but, but that I, was have a, I have a friend ago. who's still on Bumble, and she says it's garbage now because in order to, like, message people, you have to pay. But with Bumble, it was kind of like Tinder, except the woman that came up with huh? Tinder got bullied off of Tinder, so she made Bumble where when you when you do match like in the tinder sense um the girl has to message okay. you first so they no longer receive creepy messages from men so it's literally just tinder except the girl initiates the conversation i've never even heard of if that's good because usually i think like men just post whatever yeah exactly like, it was just message them all and see who responds not easy because like i meeting zach was my second time on bumble and i would have to like block guys because i would message them and then they would either try to like neg you in some weird way like about like one of them was all about like the sports team that i liked uh, or like they'd be like mm, what do you want for breakfast and i'm like i don't know i'm like i like french toast and they're like oh is that what you want when you come over and i'm like what are you talking about <laughs> what <laughs> yeah they'd be trying to do that what do you want all right then for breakfast wait, 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 let's see wait 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 zach how did you how did you make the sale Zach actually well, no, Zach you don't had filled. Say. I, I I won't make you say I, you do what uh, he had you filled out it. a lot. Um, and then they had like uh the second time I joined, um they had certain filters on there so you could filter things out by like religion, um your sign. Um, there were some questions like, do you prefer like mountains or the beach? And like I had put mountains. And then he had put a bunch of stuff on there, and one of them said ninja in training because he was doing a bunch of martial arts at the time. And so when I finally messaged okay. him, I was like, wait, I didn't think ninjas could have social media. And, and I replied, I said I was in training. Well, no, he replied with a GIF first because he didn't know how to respond. It was at the same time. And then he sent a GIF. No, it was not at the same time. Because I was like, all he what, sent me we, was a gift. Yeah. I don't know how to respond to that. And then he sent me a message. This sounds like so much work. It was. It's... Isn't but dating supposed to be work? School, it was way easier. Like, no, no, it's so easier in grad school. I just asked Chloe to do a movie. Yeah, if you actually... If Old you, fashion. Let's go watch a movie. You weren't actively looking, like, hardcore, were you? You were just like, hey, I like this person. Want to go watch a movie? Yeah. What movie? I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Oh, it was stupid though. It was uh, was uh, Jonah Hill was a babysitter or something. Oh my god! Uh, I don't know what that movie is. Uh, the God, what was that movie? It wasn't that great of a movie. Well, at least she got right away that you're lazy. You were just like, hey, you want to watch a movie? Well, it's not that, but like the problem. Is, the sitter. It's just called the sitter. The problem is with modern. It wasn't a good movie. Dating is that it sounds like hanging out as friends, whereas. At least with online dating, like you think that like the other person is trying to do. One man doesn't ask a woman to hang out with him if it isn't like, well, let's see if we'll fuck later. You would be surprised. A lot, a lot of people just want to waste your time. <sighs> hmm. Are, right. are there guys out there? There's got to be guys that do the girl Here thing where they're just like, just getting a um, a uh like free meal and stuff and get women to like pay for them to do stuff oh no there's gotta be there's guys no, that do that totally too is. totally is yeah, but, but guys no. how many women pay for the meal themselves rather than split oh, so like split i get but how many women pay the meal what's that how many women actually pay for the whole meal not a lot i split i can see but the whole meal there's gotta be that's just sad i don't know i don't feel like they, that should happen like that's that's a woman admitting like N I can't get a guy to even split a bill with me. There, I guarantee you, there's got to be guys that that's what they do is they get the woman to pay for everything. So my pick, my image in my head of that 
is like the guy like super fit but doesn't have a yeah. job and the lady is 400 exactly. pounds I well i don't know about that part but but she has a stable job <laughs> Yeah, you can email it to me. That's what I was asking. But yeah, uh, dating is work. Like, if you do it on an app or outside an app, like, where if, if there wasn't apps, where would you even go to try and find a woman? School. Okay, but like... Yeah, that's it. Like, at your current age, if you needed to date. My current age, it would be work. I, it, it'd have to be. Exactly. But you're right. Like, most of the people I work with are... Married. Yeah. I mean, but I'm at a, I'm older, so I work with older people. I'm actually one of the younger people at my work. Really which is sad, but really? yeah, because everyone else wants to go to the hot companies, and this isn't that hot of a company. But uh, oh, it's so little work because everyone has kids, so they don't expect much from you. All right, let's bring up Joe Larry's update. So, you, did you ever read the comments on these? Yeah, I did. I posted a couple of responses trying to get people to, oh, you know, respond. Oh, you did? I wonder if I Yeah, the creepy them. ones are mine. <laughs> did you have... Did, what did you make, like, a little... A two throwaways, because I tried to... I tried to, like... I tried to do the, like, oh, it's all cool, you guys are such prudes, to try oh to, like, God, prompt you're some response. Animals. Wait, what, one of the people... <laughs> trolling! I'm trolling! <laughs> I, because I thought people would respond and like talk about it or like hate me, but instead they just downvoted. So it's which not means that you fun. must be this one. Uh, yeah, I did say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that. That's me. Holy shit! You see the one that said you <laughs> need see, to. Nobody responded. I was just trying to get a response. You see the one that put you need to leave his name main pussy popper. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. My ex was like this? That's scary. Jesus. Is your boyfriend armed? You should mean? always take advice from people that call themselves so, That's, call that's themselves a guy that was into necro uh, not necrophilia. It was he was like literally into like killing. Oh women. yeah, yeah. I saw this oh. on the this. This guy did actually do this. He's a famous guy that basically raped a girl after. Oh, yeah, he yeah. actually like looks like a normal person. They normally do. Yeah, he he seems like he's too good looking to try to rape women. He's an actor? No? Oh, he's like a famous yeah. person, person. Like, yes. How, why does he have to rape? Cannibalistic oh, that's what fetishism. It was. Oh, that's, that's what it was. really it's fucked up. BDSM rape and physical emotional abuse. What the fuck, dude? We did our comment is our name. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fuck? This isn't fake. <laughs> fake. Yeah, I know. Some people called us out. <laughs> I'm gonna. Upgrade. I think only one person. I think it's literally only one person. Yeah. Fake. Which is shocking. Which is shocking. <laughs> Look at this fucking. Let's do another thing. one. Hey, our confession. See that? You want to do a confession? Let's confess. Our something. confession? Oh, our confessions is good. On the right. It's a, it's a subreddit. Oh, let's confess some shit. What should we confess? I have to log into or, Joe Larry and I don't remember how to log or, into Or uh, our true off my chest. I want to go to. I'll, let's go to it and read some. Cause that was fun too, giving our own. Okay. Advice. Yeah, let's yeah, like do that. Said, or, yeah, yeah. Um, That's the, probably better podcast. True honestly. off my chest is a good one. Our confession. Our These confession. are my confessions. Why did it do this? It's on the right, Zach. Even more communities. I see it on your stream. I'm on our confession. I now. used to steal my mother's stockings. Babe, was that oh, you? Oh, then I have a laugh because <laughs> I see you still on. Is your boyfriend Army Hammer? I sometimes laugh at ticks. Ticks when people with threats. Why is that a confession? Who? Who cares? Who doesn't do that? Oh, That's you know, jokes I, in movies. there was in Columbus a guy with a weird tick, like in a uh, grocery. I, I've never seen it before, other than this one time. And he was like sitting there shouting, like just weird shit. And then he walked by me and was like, "Sorry, Tourette's." <laughs> and it's believable Tourette's because it was just "fuck you, goddamn." <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like, and he also had these like, like his arm, like, like you know. Like he's gonna scratch somebody or something. It was really weird. Yeah, because usually ticks also have yeah, a visual it, component, like something they actually do to themselves or are doing. When yeah, I ne like other than that, it's just been media that I've heard of it. Uh, except one time, I've actually seen a guy with Tourette's, and he did scare me a little because it's a little weird. Oh, 
Anyways, uh, Anyways, uh, let's see. Our confession seems like not that as popular. What did you say was the other one, babe? I, I don't see your screen. True off my so. chest. True off my chest. Mm -hmm. You don't see my screen? No, it's nothing. Now it's blank. Hold on. Let me try reach. Oh. There you go. You see it now? Oh, what is this background that they Okay. Have? I don't know. I'm on mobile. Okay, now I can see it. Now I can see it. Anime fans ruin it anime for me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, yeah. yeah that's... It's one of those things where, like, I... Even if I like an anime, I don't want to miss it. It's kind of like Rick and Morty. Ugh, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the weird, annoying guys that just latch on to something and you're like, now I hate and it. And they like... Well, because you know you're there sleeping it and it with a pillow that's got from... anime titties on it, okay? Yeah. Every time I switch screens on this, it like Stop pauses. Switching screens. I'll see what it would do. <laughs> Alright, it's okay to reject someone, but it's not okay to make fun of them because they express their feelings. Oh, it's because somebody's hurt. Move on. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, uh, This is way too long. Yeah. <laughs> Due to low karma. Uh, let's uh, go top. Well, yeah, you gotta go top, man. Top of the last if month. If you just do of all Otherwise time, that's where the good shit I don't want to go all time. Let's see some basic shit. Playing online games as a woman is exhausting. Well, don't play online games. It's a cesspool. I've heard... Is it really exhausting, though? It's a cesspool. Because I feel like people give you real shit, though. Like, free shit, no. though. No. Just uh, turn the mic off. I've like, heard guys even it. play uh, as... Pretend to be women. Mic off. Mm. Some of these are so dumb. Why is someone recording her at Bye Bye Baby? That's what I want to know. I went to a prostitute and ended up simply cuddling with her for the night. That's huh. sad. That's yeah. pretty sad. Yeah. Trained my cat to be an eating disorder pet. What? What the fuck? <laughs> these are so off. What is this subreddit? I told you. It's so off the wall weird things that they're talking That's about. I told you just do okay, I'm gonna go all time. Just hopefully we get something good, cause this shit. As a grocery worker, I'm so fucking tired of these thank you commercials. If you're actually thankful, you pay. Yeah, That's it's true. just. No, but we'd replace you with another person, with another that would be okay. What the that fuck would is say, this? Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me into this country. That's what they would say. <laughs> All right, so you know what we got one. My wife doesn't know, but once okay. or twice a month, after she falls asleep, I order a medium pizza and eight <laughs> this wings. This is so mean. And I eat them outside in the backyard by myself and throw away the evidence before I go to bed. He has updates with pictures. Why does it pause? It? Oh no no, it just says that it's still doing it, but it's uh -oh. just pausing the preview. It's honestly the most exciting okay. thrill. And I often date you about <laughs> update with pics. Hold on. Why? Oh my God, it's real. No, he just actually took pictures of his ordered <laughs> food. He would not put a picture of his real self. There's no way. Oh my God. Oh my God! Someone forgot to turn off the smart security camera. This is the only cheating you ever do. I will never tell. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a ridiculous. These are so weird. These are really. Let's go to Ask Reddit. Maybe there's something good in Ask Reddit. Usually those are actually pretty entertaining, and I've learned things from them. Yeah. Nick, just let us know if you can't see anything for some reason. No, I can cool. see this stuff now. What fictional character deserves a spin-off the most? See, that's a good oh, one. These yeah, are good. A decent These question. are good, solid. Alright. <laughs> Let's think. What fictional right, character? Click, yeah, I I'm, not, I'm not clicking anything. I'm just scrolling. What? A spin off. What would be a so, great spin off mm, fictional character? I feel like Better Call Saul was a good one. Like, he got a good that spin off. Like, yeah. That was like the character. If I chose a character from that show, like Breaking Bad, who would I want to see more about? It would be him. Yeah, and I did not expect it to be that way either. I thought it was yeah. going to be a silly show. You know who I think just go in the same show? The really fat guy. He's Huel? Right? Well, I think his Huel? name is. Huel is Something in like Better that. Call Saul. Yeah. Huel. I feel like he should have, a, but he should have a whole whole show. That would be an interesting spinoff show. I'll yeah. watch that. I mean, I'll probably watch anything Vince mm. Gilligan does. 
Okay, Creed from The Office. Ah, ah yeah. I don't know. I think he's too zany. You don't want to know his actual background. You know background. his um, Creed thoughts that Ryan set up for him is yeah. an actual website you can visit. <laughs> but it was it was too much even for the internet. Yeah, no, they set up an actual like the word doc thing. I think you can actually look it up. Jesus. <laughs> oh, what movie are you surprised mm. hasn't had a sequel yet? Mortal Kombat. Mm, Schindler's List. What <laughs> Schindler's <is>? List. <laughs> Schindler's <laughs> check marks. <laughs> Schindler's bullet points. <laughs> Schindler's bullet points. <laughs> Um, what movie would actually get a, like, sequel? Like, any really big movie that somebody has a few movies Uh, The Fifth Element. Hmm, that's a good one. The Sixth Element would be the follow-up? The Fourth Element. The Fourth. (laughs) Actually, I always said I wanted, remember the movie The One? I've always wanted The One Two. The One Two. The One Two. No, well... They missed the opportunity, not a sequel, but a remake. I wanted Back to the Future so in 2015, and he goes back to 1985. <laughs> right? Because 1985, he goes back to 1955. It would have oh been perfect. <laughs> Fucking perfect. But they missed, they missed it. it. They fucked it up. Yeah. Hey, Nick, you're smart. What was the subject you loved in school, uh-huh. but a teacher ruined it for you? Uh... Sex ed. <laughs> that awesome that's era. true they definitely ruin that it's like oh sweet i'm gonna get to see porn and then they just show you uh you know a diagram of uh, the there pulp, the there was it uterus where and shit chloe? it's like well that's not what i was thinking I know her opinion yeah what? where's chloe she she already out oh she yeah she walked out sorry she she can't she's got to go get comfortable i get it that's fair I don't know. I feel like most subjects in school were ruined from me because they made them so boring. Like history, dude. Yeah, I love history true. now, but in school, I hated yeah. the fuck out of history. Oh yeah, I I got. Did you have the teacher in seventh grade? I forget what her name was, but she clearly didn't want to do it. She later become like a, I think a guidance. Bro, counselor. I think you're describing half the teachers. But she no no no. You'd know her because she sat on like a windowsill and she had a textbook open and she would just flip pages and then just basically she would skim and read and then like summarize what she read. <laughs> no, I did not have like, that. Like she clearly didn't give up. Fuck. She just, she flipped the next that page, flipped it over and said, yeah, and that was our history class. She was terrible. That sounds god Terrible. I had a teacher that's like she clearly had no from idea. From science to math and she would tell us that the math book had typos in it because she couldn't figure out what was happening in the <laughs> yeah. uh, this is She's like, oh, the book must be wrong. And I was just like, what? We had an English teacher that pronounced uh, leprechaun, leprechaun. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> There's our show. You're a fucking teacher. English teacher. What is this? <laughs> One of the indications was if they were a football coach, they were usually bad, except Coach Hale. He was really good if yeah. you had him. Do you remember? Uh, I didn't have him. Because he was also a really good football coach. He left for, like, a Division One school because he was good at football and teaching. <laughs> the, the unicorn. Yeah. Other than that, uh, they were all pretty terrible if they were a football the, coach. The English teacher. No, no, we had one other that went to a private uh. school. He was good, but they always get smacked That's what up. happens to the good teachers. The English yeah. teacher... Like, if I think they're good, they usually get taken. The English teacher that said Leprechaun, I'm pretty sure she was just hot, so she was probably going to get a job anywhere. She applied. <clears throat> We're like low so she stopped caring. Ups. I don't remember. I just remember she was kind of hot. She was, she was hilarious, too. She's the one that... Um, I walked into class one time early, and it was just like mm-hmm. one other person. She's like, oh, Zach. I'm just going to get, like, really mad at you and yell at you in the middle of class and just, like, pretend to be mad and walk out. I was like, okay. And in the middle of class, she's like, Zach, this is the last time he said stop doing that. I was like, what? I'm not even doing anything. I like, I literally threw my desk across the room and walked out. And, like, people were, like, looking at her serious? like, what? Was your teacher trying to have sex with you? Was this a high school? Yes, this was, uh, this was ninth what, grade, what? I think. What was her name? I honestly can't remember. Teacher Hot. 
Harry would probably remember because he remembers the leprechaun. No, if it was an English teacher, then I definitely did not have a hot ninth grade teacher. She was. I old, mean, she, she was, was hot. Nice. She was Shelby hot. Let's not like get crazy here. No, <laughs> she's okay, a Shelby okay. seven. <laughs> well, I had a very old lady for ninth grade English. I don't remember her name either, but I do remember she she gave me an extra book to read because I finished The Giver. We read The Giver. Oh yeah. And then I I finished it early, so she gave me Fahrenheit... 451. Uh, 411, 451. is that what it's called? 451? Yeah. yeah, and I had to read that as an extra. Wow. Because I was done. Huh, I see you got all your work so done. So she was actually trying. She actually she actually gave yeah. a shit, though, because she was like, oh, okay, here, you Yeah, read I had a, a couple of those teachers. It was a unique situation, yeah. though, when you're like, oh, you actually care about, like, us learning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And say what you will about Big Papa P, he actually gave a shit. Oh, yeah, actually, like, Pearson as a teacher, like, he was weird and stuff, but... Yeah. He actually taught. Yeah. I actually learned yeah, history. Yeah, he gave me a lecture about trying one yeah. time. He taught more history than English, though. Yeah. But he cared. Yeah, he actually did care, which is weird. He was just also a creep. <laughs> yeah, did you hear all the women complain about him creeping out on yes. her? On yes, them? absolutely. Yeah. I had a teacher like okay. that whose name was Mr. Feely. <laughs> well, Senor Allen, too. Yes. Everyone complained about Senor him. Senor Allen was definitely another one. Huh. Which We all know the creepers. Yeah. If if the whole school knows that that's a creeper and their guys know it, yeah. like clearly they were probably really uncomfortable with the women. But Senor Allen wasn't that good of a teacher, but Mr. P, he was good. Yeah. So, you know what, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll give him a pass. <laughs> that's hilarious. It was really weird, though, to have a teacher who actually taught you things. Yeah, there were few and far between, but they did yeah. exist. And they always had a teaching style of, like, um, they didn't teach you, like, from the book. Or, like, yeah, exactly. teach you how to take a test, basically. Mm. What is the hill you're willing to die on? That's a good one. Yeah, the Getting one rid of phone prompts. I was going to say that the top one is sleep. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I said this in one of our podcasts with the other guy from Shelby. I, I feel like I don't care. I want to say the word retard. I want to say retard. Yeah, it's a good word. It's just... I agree. Yeah. I don't want to lose that. It's retarded that we can't say <laughs> retard anymore. <laughs> When at baggage claim, you stand six uh, feet away sir, to see your bag approach the turnstile. The fuck is that even called? It's mentally disabled that we can't say retard. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway, stay away until your bag is there. And then someone goes to turnstile. That's the baggage carousel. If you, <laughs> what? Not reading them. When a baggage claim, you stand three feet away. You see your bag, approach the turnstile. What the fuck is that even called? Anyway, stay away from the thing until your bag is there. Yeah, that's true. Like, some people, like, stand really? right on, on the, like, what is that thing called? It, they just had it and goes, the turnstile is You have to, because it's the other people that do it. Baggage carousel. I, no, no, no. I stand close Why? to Why? Because other people do, too. So it's, it's <laughs> like the, the same thing problem. when you go to a concert. That's the people in front of you stand up, so you Excuse have to me, but stand say up. Louder for the people like if up they didn't, I wouldn't. If they didn't stand there, I wouldn't stand there either. But otherwise, I have to like be like, "Excuse me, I gotta get through." Like, fuck that. I want my goddamn bag. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've had too many people have done that. I have that issue whenever I travel mm. to Tampa because there's eight hundred thousand people traveling to florida yeah maybe it's the more people the more that like crowd crowd it so other people have to crowd it yeah because when i yeah it always feels when i visit uninhibited yeah. places like maine there's nobody there <laughs> radio stations to play more than 250 songs bro get use the internet here's a good one mm -hmm. less commercial saying they yeah, don't have the, commercials when's the last time you listened to an actual radio zach uh so long ago i can't tell you when I, it's gotta be like, I mean, I'm serious, like 2005. Yeah, I was gonna say like 15 it might have to been 20 that years. long ago. Yeah, it's insane how long when I think about it. Pandora how long I have not turned on the goddamn radio. The worst offender. Yeah, Nicole, have you listened to? When's the last time you listened? Did you ever listen to? Yeah, a radio? I used to listen to the radio almost every day when I lived in Florida. It only changed when I moved up to Ohio because I didn't know the local radio stations, but. 
When did you move to Ohio? Mm, three years ago. Three you three years ago you were listening to the actual radio. Yeah. How? Because Why? I, Why? Because my, For what reason? I always had them programmed into my car. Okay, but that doesn't matter. Why why were you listening yeah, to the radio Spotify, in the first place? Anything. Because sometimes when I would have really long drives, I would listen to like the morning radio station that I grew up with because it had really good stuff and then if they went to commercial then I would skip to the next morning radio station and then... She listened to morning radio. Oh my god. In the... Did you did you listen to Rush Limbaugh? <laughs> no. Were you a ditto ad? God no. <laughs> Big Rush fan. Weird. No, I would just listen to like the local radio stations that had their morning shows on there because they would always have like. Why people, didn't like, you dial just listen to podcasts? Like yeah. things you're interested in, very specific, tailored to you. I don't know. And then things. if I didn't want to listen to those, like at one point my car had like a six CD player in it, so I could always just like listen yeah. to whatever song I wanted. And then when that changed, there yeah. was like, oh, plug in your phone and like you play the MP3s off of there so then I could play my own music. I would say it's somewhat fair because like sometimes I feel like I have no idea what's going on around me. Whereas if you listen to local radio, you'll have a slight idea, right? They'll talk about local yeah, news. and the thing was, yeah. like... But there could be murders next door, it, and I wouldn't fucking Yeah, I didn't really listen for, like, local news. Well, sometimes <laughs> they would have, like, interesting takes on it, but, like, sometimes they would just talk about, like, different things. That's true. I don't really get local news unless it's big, like the Columbus thing. Yeah, <laughs> and the news has all gone national. Yeah. It's like, if it didn't happen nationally, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, at that point, you have no like local you could find it on anymore. Facebook and stuff like that, but... Yeah, I guess Facebook is kind of my local news source. But it was like, once I it was... was able to, like, download Tidal, and I didn't have to worry about playing multiple CDs in my car, it just didn't really matter to listen to the radio station unless I wanted to find new music. Yeah, that's why it's been... 50 years for nick and myself even i feel like ever since yeah. i've had a car i've always had cds though like i don't even think i yeah. ever listened to the radio i would still yeah. Like, yeah you're right i would rarely maybe if i was bored and like of the cds that i had ready yeah. then i'd listen like i i remember school specialty that was 2000 mm -hmm. Three, two thousand four. I would sometimes listen on the way home, and then that's Pandora it. became really big. But that's what I was saying. Like Pandora's become pretty awful because every two songs they're playing some sort of bullshit commercial. I still have commercials on my Pandora from yeah. Florida because it thinks I'm in Florida. <laughs> yeah, that's also the problem with real radio. Is like the less the the more people listening, they lose the more they up the ads. Yeah. So like even like I've maybe randomly tried and it's like ninety percent fucking ads. Yeah, like why does I I don't even know how radio stations exist still. I guess it's very low it's, budget, it's, right? Yeah, you insane. don't need a bunch of people working. Right? Yeah, it's got to be mostly automated and then ninety percent ads. Yeah. Oh, the, like the first time, like for uh, the first time in a long time, Chloe and I were in a hotel, maybe a year or two ago, whatever. And we went through like real TV. What? Like, real just TV? Basic cable. You yeah, like channels? actual TV watching. Yeah, Beetlejuice. We watched Beetlejuice oh, yeah. on real TV through a hotel. With commercials? And I was just. Yeah, that's the thing. I was outraged by the number of commercials. Like, you watch like three minutes of the fucking movie, and there's ten minutes of commercials. It's absurd. It's kind of like the radio station like, thing. And now. I hadn't they have more ads. Yeah, and I haven't done this for years. Uh, like, I haven't watched real TV in a decade at least, maybe 15 years. I, I'm pretty sure I canceled my cable in around 2008, 2009. So I hadn't had real cable for a long time. Dude. Yeah. And then, like, I was enraged I by the commercials. I refused. Like, I just turned it off. I couldn't deal with okay, it. Okay, so I had cable because Mario was a boomer and wanted oh, cable. yeah. Ooh. But I never, ever <laughs> watched it. Mario also had, like, a 72-inch yeah. TV. Yeah, because, like... like a whole yeah. wall. Boomers are all about their TV, and they like flipping channels, man. But, like, I rarely yeah. ever caught Mario watching that TV. Like, I think me and Zach He always that watched TV. upstairs. Yeah, but his In giant his ass TV was downstairs. I thought Mario moved a long time ago. Were you around when Mario Yeah, was cool? I knew Mario for, really? like, okay. nine yeah. months. Okay. I was there when hmm. he got his second dog. Hmm. 
I and met would, him several times. And it would he shit barely all over said three words to me. Poor dog. He got a boxer and had no idea what that entailed. His one dog used to beg to go outside. Like, it would just be scratching at the door, crying. And we're like, do you want us to walk your dog for you? Because I, I have dogs. My dogs will go out with your dogs. And he's like, no. And they were just, like, confined to a corner to shit in his room. Yeah, they didn't get... That's why, why he moved somewhere where they that? could Why exercise. did you live with this guy? Huh? Because I needed an apartment. Why did you live with this guy? I worked with him. And he only and he... had one dog at the time. Yeah. And then he got... I mean, he was mostly... We mostly just kept to ourselves, so it was kind of nice, like... Yeah, I mean, that's Mario true. cooked food for But me. usually... He was... When I hear Italian, I usually think... Oh, like Sopranos, they're in nice tuxedos. Not a guy that just keeps his dog confined to the room and shits all over well, the place. Well, he would okay. cook, like, uh, pasta sometimes. Yeah, and, like, make me yeah, some he sweet. cooked us, like, pasta and seafood, and then he would bring his women friends over. And, and I he'd got put a hit out on somebody. What's that? Oh, okay. And he'd put a hit out on somebody. <laughs> But, but yeah, I met a, a girl that he was dating for a while, and me and her talked. That was cool. <laughs> okay, and you were like, yo, yeah, what are you into? I hope it's dog shitting in the room. <laughs> Actually, she was, like, she was a really, really, like, tall black lady that had, like, a shaved head and just, like, body. Like, she had just, like, what? herbs for days. And I was like, how are you? Why are you here? How I'm sorry. You a, a shaved-headed black lady? Yeah. Really? But, like, yeah, she was, like, tall and thick and curvy, and, like, she was actually, like, really pretty. How much was he paying her for that? <laughs> she was there overnight. I would see her leave in the morning, and me and her would talk. You could pay for overnight. Yeah. There's a price for everything, <laughs> I, I literally do not think he was paying her. But for real, though, I think boomers are the only people who really have weird. actual cable TV anymore. Like, they refuse to cut the cord. Yeah, I don't understand it. Like, I may, COVID might be the end of cable TV because it killed a lot of boomers. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious, though. Like, wh why? Why have cable TV? Fox News, that's why. There, there is no point. Pretty much, yeah. I will not die for my job. What are we reading? Oh, what is the hill you're willing to die on? I forgot. <laughs> Wait, the, what is the hill we're willing, the hill to, die willing to die on? We got so me. we got so disconnected from yeah, this. Yeah, we did. What is the hill you're willing to z die on, Zach? A will a hill I'm willing to die. On. I gave mine as retard. <laughs> mine is retard. Honestly, like, cause I still had to go to work during the pandemic, and they had us on rotation. And my manager once asked mm -hmm. me, he's like, "Well." If they weren't paying you for the two weeks on, two weeks off, would you have gone to another company? I was like, yeah, I totally would have left. If they wanted to not pay me for the two weeks off, it's, so I wouldn't get fucking dying COVID. On. I don't know. That's a hill I'm willing to die on right there, is we should have four-day work weeks that are eight hours. <sighs> okay. Like the, European countries. That but, we would be more productive as a nation if we worked a little less. <laughs> That's not a hill you're willing to die on, though. Uh, like, I, I, like, okay, everybody else says you can't say retard anymore, and I say no, I, I don't care. Yeah, everyone say. says we should have five days. No, everybody wants to work four, eight hour not, weeks. Not the people everybody who run the place. people that have corporations. All right. Right? Like, But give me something... Give me something socially unacceptable. Oh, okay. Um, What's something socially unacceptable? Hmm. Don't be a fan of a politician. Uh, that's, that's what somebody put. Yeah, I like that. Um, I, well, it depends. I, did, I will be fans of very unpopular on both sides politicians. It just says you should never be that? a fan of any politician. Okay, I got a hill. Of the fandom. That's probably... You should be able to say whatever you want in public and... I don't care if kids are around you. You're allowed to curse around kids. Like kids, kids should hear curse words. You should be able to be offensive. That's a part of free speech. I I agree with that. I yeah. I think these are both good hills. Kind of goes along with your so, retard. That's why the you agree. Politicians though, I still agree with Kucinich and Ron Paul. Like when they vote against the Patriot Act and like uh, and uh. The Iraq War. Those are ones I'll be like, okay, like when the when when the votes are two against five hundred and thirty three, huh. and they're the two, I, I like that. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's it. 
Those are the only ones. You know what though? Uh, I I do see a lot of like uh, um, people um, talk about how you shouldn't be a fan of a politician. And most of them are talking about Trump, but like a lot of people are. I'm a fan of Bernie Sanders. Yeah, and I'm so, sure people could argue but against that. It, define fan. Like, so I think he's uh, he's a he's a respectable. I, would, I voted politician. for him. Yeah, like he. So he is like I disagree with him on almost everything, yeah. but I think he's actually like genuinely believes and he's a good person, yes. and that's why I voted for him. Even though I think he's a socialist and I'm very anti-socialist, see, I'll vote for him just because I don't think he's. Except I'm not crazy because that's how I thought. I've told people the same thing. I'm like, I don't even know if I agree with half of his policies, but he's at least believes yeah, in what he wants and. Who knows? They might work. Let's try them. Yeah. Whereas you know Joe Biden's just a corporatist. Yeah. He's the he has a, He's not going to change anything. He has always been. Yeah. He's like, uh, so, what is it? Yeah. Black, yeah, Black Lives Matter. We're, we're, yeah, that too. Yeah. Give me the polls. <laughs> that one. Yeah. The yeah, highest Barack polling Obama's one. Life matters. That's what I believe. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He just goes along with, with whatever he should be saying. Yeah. Yeah. I do like this person. He so, yeah. Those schools don't care For about the most part, I do agree. Don't like politicians. They're mostly full of shit. Yeah. The successful ones. Because you have to be a piece of shit to be successful. Just a little bit. For the most part. 90%. 99%. That's one thing that um, makes me not like capitalism is capitalism does reward some very negative social behaviors. Like, people who are really yeah. good at capitalism are also kind of not good people but i feel like it's enabled by government 90 percent, not all of it some can be like okay i'm gonna steal all the water <laughs> that's what i'm saying like it can right? really influence a negative thing but 90 percent of it is that i'm gonna like lobby the government to say that i own all this water or it could be stuff like we're gonna pollute this water because it's cheaper like let's just dump the waste over yeah. here like shit like that like, oh, it's more yeah. cost effective for us to deal with the lawsuits of doing this than to fix this issue. Oh yeah, the fight club problem. Yeah, exactly. That that happens all the time. For the... That actually really happened, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It like I think it was the Pinto that was catching fire and they, they figured out that it was it was less costly to settle the lawsuits from the people that burned to death than it was to fix the exactly. problem. Literally you don't not. think that's happened with a lot more cars and a lot more other things in the world? Oh, I'm sure it has. Yeah. Like, well, we could fix it, but that would cost more than just being like, eh, okay, class action lawsuit. We'll pay the the couple million dollars. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, let's see. Let's go yeah, on. Like, this definitely has given us topics, huh? There was one that said that, like, schools don't care mm -hmm. about anti-bullying. They only care that they don't get bad publicity. And I kind of agree with that. Yeah, that's I mean, that's true. definitely true. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a cool school actually care about publicity. Like, I've seen ones where, like, you can't defend yourself in a fight because then that's also fighting. <sighs> yeah, I guess that's the uh, number one thing is, like, if there's a fight, even if the kid didn't start it and was being bullied, they get suspended, too. Yeah, no. That's, like, that's what, like, like especially don't in give like, a no. shit. Like, no one gives a shit. <laughs> yeah, especially in the age of social media. Like, kids get bullied away from school, and the schools do nothing about it. This is a, a big hill to... Children should not starve and suffer because of their parents. That's not really a big hill. Like, a, yeah, I think most people would agree with you there, guy. Yeah, but it's true, though, in some sense that, like, depending on your parents, you, you might, you know, just have a shit like... Yeah. And, like, yeah, like, there's nothing much you can do about it. Oh, here's a, a hill. Oh, I like this one because Maybe so this, many people try to walk into me. This kind of goes along with things that grind my gears. It's on escalators. If you, mm -hmm. you don't stand still on an escalator, and if you do, walk to the side. Because an escalator, you can still walk up escalators, and it take you know, it increases the speed you go up or down. I hate standing still in an oh, escalator. Oh, no, I, I assume sumo position <laughs> what? on an escalator. What? And I block the whole thing. No, no. 
But I feel like you should always give rain. Honestly, time. if I'm being lazy and on an escalator, I might not even think about it. I might be taking up the first place. I try to. If someone said, if I do think about it, I'll give room for the people yeah. trying to make. Yeah, their if way. they're like, excuse me, if they say something, like you're gonna move. Oh yeah, I would say, oh sorry, and then I. You don't even have to say sorry. You can just move. I'm not well, a dick. Well, sorry not, about it, bud. Let's let's be. No, let's I would be say honest. sorry. You're not apologize because I should not be blocking the space. That is a dick yeah. thing. Oh, it, it's the Ohio thing. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I would say something <laughs> like that. I was like, oh, oh. sorry. Oh, I would. Through. <laughs> I mean, there's some times where people are like, "Excuse me," and I don't say anything because I'm not sorry. I'm just like, okay, I'll move. But but if. So if you are on a walkway, someone is coming straight at you. I'm not talking you, you at me. Like, right if you're talking about space. on an escalator and someone comes up from behind and I'll see them, they're like, excuse me, like, I'll move. If you are but it's not anything this, to be this sorry This is about. especially important during COVID, right? Yeah. I don't know what the rules are. Like, sometimes I just keep walking. I don't, like, it's just, uh, who's I lazy? just try to rub up against everybody. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I try to lick them. Uh, but I do feel honestly, there are I move rules. you out of the way of other people. I don't know the. I don't know them though. Like, who gives the right of way? Yeah, when you're walking, there's no like. Because people will go onto the street and walk around me, and sometimes I will go onto the street and walk around a person, and it's like a game of chicken we're playing. It really is a oh weird thing now. People go onto the. <laughs> it really is though. It's a game it's of not, chicken. No, when it's we're not even chicken. It's fucking sidewalk. Because you. You, it's What's Tetris. That? You gotta figure out where other people are moving and how to move around them. No, no Tetris is fitting blocks in like a small it's, space. It's chicken, it's chicken because sometimes I will be like, okay, we're almost going to come near each other and I will walk onto the road. Or like sometimes it's But sometimes people... they won't give as much of a shit as me and they'll keep going. <laughs> or I will keep you going have more and mass, then they will though. go onto the road. You What's have that? more mass. Oh, if it came yeah. down to well, me and you... It doesn't matter. It's COVID. It's just about breathing near I'm people. just saying, if it came down to me and you, and I didn't want to move, and you didn't want to move, I'd probably get destroyed. <laughs> they would no, just no, push no, you down, move off, bitch. Like, <laughs> get out the way. I would say, like, 15 feet, I will move onto the road and walk so I don't go near them. During COVID. The greatest is when you see no someone's not moving, so you move, and then they see that you move, so they move in the same direction. And I'm like, all right, at this point, this is your mm. problem. That awkward thing where you both mm. move out of each other's way in the same direction, and then you do it again, and then again. Yeah. And so one person just has to stand still. Well, sometimes they do it right after you do it, and you're like... At you that point, you know. declare a duel to the death, Zach. <laughs> That's what you're Prepare for battle! <laughs> Basically. This this here space that we're trying to cross isn't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> then it's just an anime <coughs> at that point. Move on. These some of these are dumb. Someone says butter is not a seasoning. <laughs> That's false. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to mean. The Oxford comma is necessary. Yeah, we'll get that one. Spelling. I mean, we can move on to another question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's move on I think I'm done with this. What screams big dick energy? <laughs> I gotta see this. That's funny. What does scream big dick energy? Mm. Wow, these people do not know what big dick energy what is. What screams average dick energy? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, what screams big dick energy? Let's think yeah, about it. Yeah, because those answers. were dumb. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, but... when there's the last piece of food left and you just. You just take it. You That's, don't ask if it's cool. You just you take, take it. it. You just take it. That's small dick energy. <laughs> yeah, that I feel like is like you should ask. That's just polite. Big dick energy is when a guy pays for your meal. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's no, average. That's dick just energy. women hopefully thinking. Um, big dick energy. I don't know. It's just something that like makes. Okay, you big feel dick secure. energy to me. Big dick energy to me is like. Uh, a hot girl's talking to you and you just ignore her. Ooh, that is big dick energy. Like, you just you no. just walk on. Like, because, you know, like, you that's, get another one. It doesn't matter. Trying to nag her. No, that's totally big yeah, dick. Because we'll just get another one. Literally negging. Oh, I'm only... You're not I'm gonna, only no, not no, no. talking that's to you. That's not negging. That's, I don't give a shit. And you don't even... You. 
no, no, no. Negging is you actually make an attempt. This is like, I don't even, I don't care. He just care. brushes it off. I don't care what you have to say to me. Like, if she okay, says something she stupid, came up to you and was even like, though she's hey. hot and you walk on, you walk on because you don't care. All right, all right Nick, hang on. That's big dick hang energy because you don't Nick, care. hang on. If you were at one of like You those, don't need to try to fuck if that. If you were like at a board game store, like one of the ones that me and you board and, yeah store. yeah like the ones that me and you and and uh chloe and zach visited when we were visiting you in, in california okay. say you're at like one of the board game stores and a, and a smoking girl comes up to you and she asks you about like a board game and she's like would you recommend this okay mm -hmm. would you ignore her or would you engage her for the big dick energy like comes up to you innocent question but she's hot like she can't help it she's hot Okay, I would say, like, I would either give my recommendation or not, whatever it is, and then walk away. Yeah. That's big dick energy. See, that's the whole thing. You're the, not, the, the, the little dick is when you're like, oh, it's really good, it's so hot. awesome. And then you try to explain all the rules and you try no, to get she's really just asking into you, it. Hey, would you play this game? You know what, guys? I think, I think what we have to define it is big dick energy, you just know it when you see it. It really is. It's one of yeah. those That's things. what it is. That's why it's so hard to define. No, I'm trying to come up with a perfect example of big dick energy, though. Because literally, big dick like, energy you is say not undeniably just big to dick energy. What's that? I said big dick energy is just it's it's not just not. Talking I feel like to it's a just a uh, certain confidence level, but not cocky. It's yeah, like self assurance. Yeah, you can be overly cocky. Yeah. Ooh, what's a random thing you secretly judge other people for? Ooh, not that's a putting good one. their carts away at the grocery store. <laughs> What? Fuck you. That's a rule. <laughs> I have a rule. Hey, like I have someone a clear chin beards. Chewing loudly. Okay, okay. What kind of music they like? I'll, I feel like I'll everybody does that. Only for some reason. But no, it's not just that. I judge people for music that they dislike, but they are very expressive about it. So very specifically, there was a guy... I worked with it at some company that just went on and on about Nickelback and how like liking Nickelback was even worse than being a pedophile. What? <laughs> yeah. I... And to me, like I know people dislike <laughs> Nickelback, Nickelback and they judge people yeah. for liking Nickelback, but I judged him more for like he's trying to get that social validation to be like, I hate Nickelback too. I really hate yeah. them, guys. I totally so agree. Awesome. That's small dick energy. You know? Yeah. Yes, and big yeah, dick that's energy. Small dick energy. Like, that's clearly. I'm the wrong person, my dude. <laughs> I'd yeah, be like, and I, like, I can so, like some of their songs. Big yeah. dick energy would be like, bro, it's, it's exactly they're not yeah. pedophiles, though. It's like, like the thing you like, dislike the thing you like, you don't care about what other people intensely dislike. Yeah. Just whatever. I don't understand. Nickelback was this thing like people just like latched on to. It's same as like the... Uh, yeah. Um, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Like, we get it, guys. Like, we've been saying yeah. this for the past five it's years. It's forgettable rock. I get it. I don't yeah, care. I would... It's forgettable, but it's not like my, something you need to my actively mom, Like, ten years ago, my mom and a bunch of her coworkers went to a Nickelback concert. And my mom's like, do you want to go to a Nickelback concert with me and my coworkers? And I'm like, it's a free concert. Sure, mom. And they actually put on a really good concert. Did, do I really care for the music? Yeah. Not really. I mean, it was just, like, rock. Like, generic. But they put on a really good concert. Like, they were concerned about their fans having a good time. And I'm just always like, I don't understand the hate because they they were entertainers. Okay, so would Big Dick Energy be yeah. like, I go into my jujitsu class and I'm in control of the music and I put on Nickelback and I fucking jam to it? Like, this is my shit. That's Big Dick Energy <laughs> because you know. You know people You know you're going to be judged and you, you don't care. care. You don't care. I don't know. I guess big that dick is actually big dick energy, I think. The on the if, <laughs> that, what's that? Nothing. <laughs> I didn't even, but I do think that's that's part of big dick energy is like you do what you want to do and you don't care. Yeah, he yeah. invited me into you don't his care basement what the others and then he think. kicked me on his jujitsu mat. Uh, yeah, that's that's big cor dick energy. Correction, she tried to kick uh, me and I, I will beat it. the shit out of women no matter how short they are. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got me an ice pack and made out with me. Yeah, to be fair, she kicked me and I just checked it. I did not kick her. Well, he's like, hey, do you want to go on the mat? And I was like, sure. And I like made a little kick at him and then he checked me with his shin blades. And I went down and needed an ice pack. You can't kick at me. I'm going to check the kick. <laughs> no. 
No, Zach, you should have totally gone into hold and then, like, she goes in con- unconscious. She just, like, speared her <laughs> mounted, gone to yeah. back mount, like choked most, her out. The that most was a different hardcore date. you can be. <laughs> that was a different she date. should be. She should have been limping out of your apartment. Oh, she I just head tell- kicked her. What? I didn't, what? <laughs> I didn't tell you. After he had to put the ice pack on my leg, I couldn't walk, so he did have to carry me back upstairs. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> I like I, I like the idea that she goes into work the next day with a limp and like a black eye and she's like, Oh, I had a date. <laughs> Went pretty well actually. Went really actually, well. I think I'll hook up with a guy again. Actually, anytime I work somewhere new, I tell my coworkers not to worry about the bruises. <laughs> Big dick energy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, guys, I just want to let you know, my boyfriend and I fight each other, so don't worry about the bruises. All right, so what's a random thing you secretly judge other people for besides... I, I like that one. When people are adamantly, like, just going with the culture of, like, Nickelback yeah. sucks. People letting their kids... Yeah, I judge that. people on that shit all the time. Or just, if they repeat, either Fox News or CNN, Ed Nelson, yeah. like, oh, I know God. your opinions already. I don't I, care. I'm with you on that one. I, I, um, People letting their... What, but I'm trying to think of something non-political because everything's so political well, nowadays. Well, there's one on here about, like, people letting their kids have a tablet at full volume in a restaurant and, like, my friends... Oh, decide. that's annoying. That's super annoying. I go out with my friends sometimes and show... Like, whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like some restaurants, like Applebee's... <clears throat> I expect it. <laughs> like, one, like, like that's that, just, that is, is just a family restaurant. And Applebee's. Yeah, that's true. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah, it's, it's like, if you went there, you should fucking expect shit like that. People that are saying misspelling words, I hate people that are overly, um, I judge people that are yeah. overly, like, Nazi grammar Yes, people. if somebody says, I'm a grammar Nazi, <sighs> you should go die because you don't know what a Nazi is. Because, like, yeah, you, I, I especially, oh, go ahead. oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say I really hate that people that correct the and I because they correct it even incorrectly. Yeah, like instead of saying and me, sometimes they'll just always say and I. Yeah, sometimes and me is actually yeah. correct. Like they gave it to Zach and me is correct because it's the direct object. Yeah. Well, they... But they'll say they gave it to so and so and I, and that's incorrect because it's the direct object, not the, easiest... the subject. You should say and me. The easiest me, way to remember moron. it is to remove the other object and see if the sentence would still make sense. Yeah. yeah. But here's here's my point yeah. is we shouldn't even grammar Nazi but that. But I've been corrected be- with direct object because it's language. Like if I understand what you mean, if I say me and Nick, yeah. it, it's not like it's confusing. No. Went to the store. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. That's a very I, like I don't classic. even correct that. That's what I'm saying. If I say me and Nick and somebody corrects me on that, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Did you not like understand what I was saying there? That's like that meme that I showed you <laughs> about if you're arguing with a man online, he suddenly becomes like a 19th century like <laughs> poet, and oh, I'm sorry. Do I not doth make my like me clear? <laughs> yeah, when people are in what? arguments and they like purposely like try to use bigger words to sound smart. And then you realize half of them. That's the long. that's the that's the essentially the equivalent of like the the guy with a fedora. Oh my you know, milady! Their hat, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, men in like, store. Milady. They're also the same oh, Jesus person Christ! Going to date rape you? Okay. Those are the <laughs> yeah. Those are the sorts of people that they like anime, and now I can't. Like anime. <laughs> yeah, they're the same. Group oh of my people. god, same. That's how it was when I was younger, and a guy was like, it, when I was in high school, it's cute if a guy liked anime and then when i got into college if a guy liked anime he's gonna rape you it's like red flag <laughs> if he has a van you're gonna die girl like walk away uh oh i know another thing i judge people for mm. when they like gatekeep their hobby or oh thing God, they're a fan yes. of oh jesus christ what do you mean oh like okay. why yeah. if you're a fan of something would you hate somebody else that likes it but they don't know every single thing about that thing yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm like, I'm not intensely into anything that I can or think of. people that are just casual. But like, oh, I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like X or I like Y. You know, like whatever. the type of people that'd be like, "Oh, you're a Nickelback fan? Name three Nickelback songs." Look at this. <laughs> oh, okay. Somewhat related. At work, if somebody does the icebreakers and they're like, say something interesting oh, about yourself. They always have something very specific they want to mention. 
And you're like, I don't know. I just like fucking hanging out and doing whatever. I knew, yeah, a, yeah. I knew a girl. But they very specifically have something. I knew a girl who always said she was into sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> well, because on our first three days of training together, we kept having new people come in, and they wanted to do icebreakers, and every single answer of hers, when they were like, what's your hobby? What's something about you? She was like, I like to sleep. You know what? I, I openly judge oh. anybody that actually enjoys icebreakers and makes yeah, me do them. Yeah, exactly. Anybody that asks that, anybody that started to that, I think you're going to tell us some bullshit that you want everyone to know about you. That's why you're All doing All right, everybody, this. let's start an icebreaker. Oh, just yesterday I got back from a trip. I killed a man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then uh, I was going to say for the uh, – for the one that's sad, like sleeping, I have a worse one. One it's one coworker sad. was like, <laughs> "I have a ninety-year-old grandma that I take care of." Well, that's fucking sad. <laughs> I should just start doing that as icebreakers. Do like the saddest thing to like bring the mood down. Yeah. Well, Zach, what's your hobby? Yeah. Well, I guess I just sit in my basement and I file claims and I go to bed. I don't have any friends, so it's hard I, for yeah, me to I want to say hobby. I masturbate an enormous amount, <laughs> like a fucking huge amount. You, you poor. I'm masturbating. I'm masturbating right Pornhub now. Pornhub is my hobby. Well, actually, I'm in an AA meeting Do you see where right my now? hand is? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, guys. It's my turn. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Mm. I don't know. I wasn't looking. People who can't jaywalk properly? I was going to say using barbecue sauce on my barbecue. People who can't jaywalk properly? I don't know. Uh, I'm I scrolling, okay. getting okay. glasses. Uh, there was a uh, a random German coworker of uh, Chloe's mm-hmm. that would always stop me from jaywalking. I'm like, dude, no one fucking cares. Like, he would try to stop me, and I would keep going. <laughs> I... I just feel like it's just in the German culture. Those are the rules. <laughs> you must follow the rules. I think in other countries they have more crosswalks, so it's like weird for them to not yeah. cross at a crosswalk. But like here in America, like fuck it, the cars are here to kill you. Yeah, and like we're yeah. from I'm just like they're they're a suggestion. They're a suggestion. Yeah, and we're from Shelby. Like, when the fuck do you have crosswalks in what like cars? half the fucking town? You just cross the fucking road because the, there's no cars. The there, most crosswalks there are rarely I've ever cars. Seen are in New York City and Gatlinburg, Wait. Tennessee. <laughs> Look both ways. We play fucking hockey on this. Yeah, street. exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, who, who the fuck are you talking about crosswalks? Oh my god, Zach got a hockey stick, by the way. Why did you get a hockey? I haven't played hockey since we were kids. Because I have a hockey stick and rollerblades, so Zach now has rollerblades and a hockey stick, so that's a thing now. Okay, he can't rollerblade for shit. I know already. Yes, can he takes the dogs out? What are you talking about? I used to. Ro- I rollerblade with the dogs. Yeah, can you rollerblade and play hockey? We're gonna find out. Yeah, I, we've done this before. Yeah, no, were you not there no. when we he's played gonna, that? He's gonna skin his knees. I hope you have knee pads. No, he does not. But I will get some. Were you not there when we played? We haven't hockey on. We rollerblade? the last time I remember playing like hockey was with Tim in like the nineteen nineties, <laughs> like late nineteen nineties. Yeah. he was into it for a while, and we played with Alan and Tim, and that was. The late nineties. I think you're forgetting. Easily. I used to rollerblade like every single day. Okay, I didn't. Uh, you're right. You actually could ollie too on a skateboard. I never could do that. Yeah, that took forever. Like a lot longer than I expected to learn to ollie. Yeah, because it's just go up. It's it seems. Yeah, it's like simple. this is no problem. All you do is jump. No, no, it's really harsh. Which makes <laughs> skateboarding all the more impressive. Like, then you learn how to flip the board and like. 18,000 different ways and land on it still? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, I never did anything impressive. Like Ollie. <laughs> hey, Nick, if you could be a dinosaur, what would you be and why? Oof. That's a good question, actually, surprisingly. Um, <laughs> well, the top comment is that they would be extinct I, because oh. they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was going to say a... a Brachiosaurus, because they got like the long neck. Yeah, the ones that eat like off the, yeah. the trees. Yeah. I like Triceratops. They're pretty fucking cool. Triceratops. Yeah. Hey, that's They're Dr. Cool. Alan Grant's favorite dinosaur. Um, trying to think of a good answer. A Brachiosaurus. Brach. 
What's good about having a long... They could suck themselves off. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I know. hate you. Could they, though? Like, I don't know if, like... I don't think can giraffes do that? I don't think the neck bends that way. I don't know. I'm just trying to think... I can't think of a better answer. A Tyrannosaurus Rex can't even jerk off. Yeah. Why are you concerned about jerking off? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> Your number one factor of what dinosaur you want to be is jacking off. <laughs> I'm just saying, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, they've got nothing. They've got to find something. You don't somebody. want those retard arms. I get it. What the fuck? Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about sex. I'm like, how would I defend myself? What would I eat? Like, <laughs> And Nick's over um, here like, how can I fuck? <laughs> And if I can't fuck, how can I fuck myself? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you gotta do something with your time. That's what I'm getting. They don't have All right. television. Forget about uh, uh, dinosaurs. What animal would you be if you could be any animal? Animal? Sloth? No, oh, that's a good one. Oh my god, you're the life. worst. That's a good one. I like At least it. you're not a fucking koala. <laughs> Koala? Why not a koala? Jesus Christ, don't get me started, please. Koalas are the oh, worst Jesus. animals okay. in the world, and they should be extinct, and eucalyptus leaves are poisonous, and koalas should they, die for only having a poison. diet of poisonous leaves. Okay, we know what you shouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's worse? Is that koalas don't disintegrate into the earth like normal animals do, and nothing can eat a koala because they're just poisonous eucalyptus leaves. I would like to be a, a house mm -hmm. cat if I knew I could be in, like, a nice house. A house cat in a nice house is a good yeah. answer. But yeah. the odds are you might be, like, one of those, like, you know, outside cats. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, that's why like, I clarified a in a nice house, anybody. like a cat person house. Zach just wants to be Drogo. Just, like, mm. you could sleep anywhere. You pretty much sleep, like, 22 but, hours. But, no, you're thinking, day. though, again, to go back to the dinosaur... You're thinking from the example of, like, what would I like to be as a human? I'd like to be, you know, treated. But you're going to get horny, Zach, and you can't escape. Unless Cats balls. can lick themselves, dog. Unless his balls were chopped off. That's true. And then he doesn't have to worry about that. Mm. Yeah, I'd probably be neutered if I was a house cat. And then he would just live no, this is why I would go with... Heavy. What what's the what's the like ape that basically fucking is a hand the bonobos? <laughs> yeah, bonobo. <laughs> Where they're yeah, just yeah, fucking yeah. all the time. They seem like they have a good life. I, yeah, they, they have a good I have life. A picture with me and a bunch of bonobos. Thank you. That it's very racy. <laughs> okay. I feel worse now. Yeah, I feel like uh, bonobos would be pretty crazy because they do that. Even like the guys on guys, like they just. Let me jack you off there. Okay, real quick. maybe I won't be a bonobo. That's a little weird. I feel worse about the Columbus Zoo now. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, if you go to the bonobo section, they always have signs up like you will see some stuff. They didn't have that sign up, but I took a picture and there was like five bonobos behind me, and they were all like photo They me. definitely have a warning sign before you go into the bonobo saying like explicit. <laughs> thing. Okay, what is not illegal but feels oh, like? Oh, that's it? a good one. Let me click oh, that's on a that. good one. Hmm. Walking out of a store without buying anything. That is very That true. does make me feel, feel like guilty. you've done something illegal. Like, did I, did I hmm. accidentally leave something? Wait, pooping in elevators? I think but that's illegal. You... <laughs> no, I think worse is if you scan something. What's that? And you know it's wrong, do you walk out? Yeah. What, am I going to go out of my way to make sure that they pay me? Uh, now, that's worse because it's maybe. No, Zach is illegal. very like, anti Like, you know the checkout. weight is wrong on the grapes you bought, but you walk out. Wait. You're not going to correct me. No. Nick, Nick, you need to hear you need to hear about how Zach feels about self-checkouts. Uh, I think I've gone off about self-checkouts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's self-checkout? Where you check yourself out. Oh. No. Hey. <laughs> okay. Those self-checkouts used to be mirror, so right? easy, but they keep adding like anti-theft things on to where they become inconvenient. Unless you have like three or four yeah, things. Yeah, because the guy has to come and scan his thing and be yeah, like, you scan you're not thumb. a thief. Yeah. And what he's really doing is like, oh, they're white, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I do feel like that, but anyway, at least on the checkout where they check the receipt is like they don't even look no. for certain people. They're just like, they're just like they just put their highlight. But I've walked out before, and like there was a guy blocking this lady from walking out, and like he checked. Yeah. 
<laughs> he didn't. He doesn't check mine. I know no, he doesn't. You're a white dude. But he checked hers. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but I know they don't check me. I know yeah. they don't. Oh shit! I gotta have you steal shit for me then, because you're like an average-looking white dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I know they ain't looking. <laughs> so true. <laughs> You just do a skit of like uh, a bunch of white guys at a checkout, self checkout, doing it, and one black guy walks up, and the guy's immediately hovering over him, watching him scan every single item. <laughs> yeah, like the white guys just pile on like a bunch of shit, and then they just have one thing saying they bought grapes, and they walk out with it. And then like you could literally just have a white guy walking items, out, but they really have ten, and they accidentally miscanned, and they walk out, and they're like, "Okay, sir, sir, we need to look through this." You literally have like white guys just grabbing TVs and walking out, not even going through the self-checkout while <laughs> they're focusing on that one guy. Yeah. Because they don't look. I know they don't. They just go... Ch oh, yeah, even once... Uh, okay, so um, Chloe wanted me to bring a back a bunch of I thought you were going to say Chloe wanted you to, to steal China. <laughs> No, no, no. She wanted me to bring back... So apparently you can't get these in China. So she wanted me to bring back a bunch of chapsticks, I think as the wedding gift to everybody, to everybody that attended. Uh -huh. So it was like a lot. Like, I think like I bought a hundred or something and I walked out with them. Uh huh. Like, and it's supposed to be a hundred rung up and the person goes, is that really a hundred? say, yeah, you want to count? And they go, nope. <laughs> <laughs> then I just, I just, well, they don't care. Yeah, they you, don't care. You, They're like, I trust you. Go ahead. Notice the difference. What's that? No, it's more like if you're up two hundred, I mean, they, they wouldn't know. Yeah, I could have easily had two hundred. They would have no fucking clue. I could have rung up a hundred and then walked out with two hundred. They'd have no clue. They just trusted me. They're just like, okay. Yeah. yeah but looks, if your skin color were different, they'd be like, yes, dump them out. We're gonna count this shit right like now. Yeah. Fuck it. We're gonna count like every that. single one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they were just like, yeah, you look like you're You know what? Man. You're a cool guy. You're a good man. Carry on, sir. In fact, you can have 20 on us for us questioning you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. What else we got? What is the master side dish of Thanksgiving? What? Nah. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's a warm one. I'm just reading. Alcohol. That's the message. <laughs> Thank you. Alcohol and yelling at your relatives. Every time I come over to your parents, they're like, Nicole, would you like to try this new beer or alcohol that I got? And I was like, yes, please. Thank God. If you could be a kitchen appliance, <clears throat> what would you be? Well, you already have a toaster. Mm. These are really depressing. Okay. I'm not reading these. People want to be yeah, fucking everybody would. Okay. What? Let's let's do a sort by top. A lot of these are being getting yeah, boring because you're going down too far. Well, I don't know. You're in too deep and red. Top like God the last damn it. month. Oh. Your top. Yeah, because we're on hot right now. I want to know of all time. What's the all oh, time? All time will just be like. All right, why not? People haven't pooped in 2019. Why are you holding on to your oh, Jesus. shit? Oh my god, in 2019, that's a long time. I'm guessing this was posted at the beginning of 2020. It was. January 1st, sure 2019. But I want, to, I want the answer to anybody in 2021. But, like, but no, see, look, 1606, that was 406 in the afternoon. Yeah, we know that's when they posted it, obviously. I but know, like, I know. honestly, I know that like, that sounds like you have something wrong asked. with you. Okay, let's look at the answer. Let's reply to it now if you're you signed can't. in. You can't. It's archived. Yeah. I'm really they archive fucking it constipated. So you can't. Yeah, they archive it after six Ugh. months. Damn it. Get out of this. We can't. <laughs> but when I finally do, it'll be the biggest year of shit. So, uh... Great key. See what the other time well, yeah, of all time, some of them you're not going to be able to See, this is to. why you can't do all time, because it'll be stuff like this. What if God came down one day and said, it's pronounced Jod, and then left? <laughs> why is that of all I time? I don't know. These are just the most... Go month, month, because some of these are just going to be really weird, silly things. Or years. Hang on. Okay, Bill Gates said, I will always choose a lazy person to do a difficult job. Oh, I feel this That's is real. That's so true. It's so I feel true. like I'm the, we don't one of the do laziest people once. at work. Yeah. 
That happens in my job all the time because I find the quickest and fastest yeah. way to do the things. Top one. But it doesn't matter because the really non lazy person gets promoted anyways. Yeah. Because usually what they'll do is they'll steal the idea of the lazy person and claim it as their own. Yeah. Oh, man. You have no idea. Oh, I, yeah. do. <laughs> I do know. I've been in the same industry for almost a decade. I fucking know. <laughs> What if Earth is like one of those uncontacted tribes in South America? Like the without, whole galaxy knows we're here, but we, they've agreed not to contact us until we figure it out for ourselves. Without saying the category, what are your top five? Let's hear some top fives. I want to hear that. Oh, top five. But without saying the category. Without saying the category. Yeah. Scroll down. Lavernica. It's hard. Dickens. Brutalipus. I don't have no idea what that is. What the fuck is that? Top five names for your Eastern European wife. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas yeah, State. these are interesting. Cigars, dogs, guns, modeling, kits, and booze. That's okay. Is that, well, let's do at least three. Zach, give me three things, and I'm gonna try to guess your category. Okay. Blind, deaf, missing limbs, old, returned. Um. Are those for dogs? Yeah, think of this one, cause it's like you don't want to make it too obvious, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, three things. All right, I, I just thought of the category. Now I got to think of the the actual ones. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You got you, Women. How did you get my category? Right on. <laughs> all right, for real though. Uh, uh, Independence Day. Uh, it might not be accurate because I'm just thinking of the ones off the top of my okay. head. But Independence Day. Um, Will Smith. <laughs> set it off, and okay. shit, I can't think of the name of the movie. I just had it. Um, Independence Day. Set it off. And hold on, okay. let me. I gotta look this one up. Is it Will Smith movies? No. He wasn't in Set It Off. I don't know what Set It Off is. I was just guessing. Oh, you're so not. You weren't, you know, I, you were born in the 90s. You didn't live through the 90s. Oh, Friday. I'll go with Friday. That's a good one. Best black people movies. That was going to be my second choice. Yeah. I, it, not necessarily black people movies, but it was like black with black, black role, yeah. like black leading actors. actors. Yeah. That was going to be my next one because I knew of it. Yeah, because... Those are just off the top of my yeah, head, though. If I actually thought about it, it might forever. be different. Friday probably would be on there, though. Friday is definitely Friday. Friday. Independence Day is pretty good, but it would probably be beaten by something else. All right, Nick, your turn. Inde yeah, I was going to say Independence Day is a hard one. All right, Nick, pick a category and put your um, top three. I had one started. Dicks, Kim balls, Kardashian. and buttholes. Beats, bears, <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Bruce Jenner slash, uh, what's her, her real name now? Caitlin. Yeah, Caitlyn uh -huh. Jenner. Uh, Olympic medalist. I gotta, I gotta get Olympic one more. Medals. Donald Trump. That's two. Bruce Jenner, Donald Trump. And Kim Kardashian. Oh, Kim Kardashian. I didn't hear the Kim Kardashian. And, and we'll throw Kanye West in there, too. Uh, three celebrities you hate the most that don't do anything? Close. People I never want to hear fucking anything about. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. I don't Ow, care anymore. Right I, don't care. I don't care. I don't want right. to care. I don't I don't want to hear about it. That's that's a good one. I like it. Alright. This one's boring. Alright, now Nicole, you gotta nope. get one. We we nope, both I'm got done. one. Okay, I got one. Ooh, what free things online should okay. everyone take advantage right. of? Uh oh, is X got one. Let's hear it. Pop can? It's going to be difficult. A pop, pop can, can, a bowl, or a pen. Things you stuck your dick <laughs> into. A pen? <laughs> Things you stuck into your dick. Well, a pop can, definitely. <laughs> a pop can, a pen, and what was the other one? Uh, a pen. A bowl. A bowl. The most annoying things to wash? I don't know. <laughs> a pop See, can, I got a, a nice creative one I don't think you will get. Ooh, so uh, pop can, a pen, and a bowl. I don't. I have no. What was the What was the question? Again? <laughs> I don't 
know, but I like this. The category. One. You're trying top to figure three, out the category. Top three. The category is. I have no idea. Uh, uh, best ways to smoke weed. Oh, I was gonna say the category <laughs> okay, is Zach okay. Strong. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, Nick. Steve Irwin has you pinned mm. down in a headlock. What cool fact does he tell the audience about you and your habitat? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, oh, Cranky. Okay, yeah. This one just got his third oh, drink crikey. today. <laughs> Do you know he's these trying people to pay tell his wife a month for an, a, a house? What's that? <laughs> Do you know these people pay four grand a month for a house? <laughs> That's that Southern California That's pretty territory. crazy about our habitat. That's really crazy. You've got to be um, careful. You can't get close to the windows or you'll get the sunlight. He's not used to the sunlight. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's probably true. Exterior, I've been taking vitamin D because I don't go out enough. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, I like this one. That's a good one. They're uh, they get joint pain because they're hunched over. So much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pee myself. Shit like that. It's really it's really. His bad, hands actually. don't quite work as true. well because he uses them so often. <laughs> All right. Uh. Man, I'm trying to think of one that I would have for that. That's a pretty good one. I don't know, but we've been on this podcast for like two hours. Yeah. You're going to have to edit the fuck out. Of like... <laughs> it's a good one. I, I'll probably edit out the middle part where we're trying to do other things that didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Zach, good podcasting, though. Zach I've... getting no responses on his fake OK Cupid. <laughs> oh, let's check back in. Oh yeah, we should Can check we... back in before we head out. That's that's true. I highly doubt there's a match though. I am concerned that you oh, still have these things. I had to. You little saw. I had to. Hey Nick, how it. long did it take for you to pin down Chloe? Pin down for what? What does that pin down mean? Uh, put a ring on it. Duh. Eight years. Jesus Christ! I don't have that kind of time. Pin down. I I thought <laughs> I thought pin down meant like no, it's as not a your kind. It's not <laughs> your kind. Like when, we, when she moved in after like a year and a half, <laughs> that's that's okay. But then then we were dating for like a long. She got very angry when I wasn't proposing. I get it though. I get it. Eight years is a pretty long I, I time. I got dude. the idea that I should propose. Yeah, she was about to be on the verge of. But then after girlfriend. proposing, it was another three years. What's that? After proposing, it was another like three oh, years because we were busy. We moved well, yeah, that's there, different we though. Merged. That was just the uh, your life got busy. Yeah. The proposing part, you yeah. were just slacking on there. Yeah, it was just sweet. Like, I don't even think she'd want to get married because we were so busy. Well, you learned, didn't you? Mm. Well, it doesn't matter because he doesn't right, have to put that towards again? anything else. What's that? What were we doing again? What were we doing again? He was supposed what, to do OkCupid. Okay okay there was nothing there. On okay wow, there was nobody nothing likes there. your man. Oh. You nothing. only have one Wait, photo. Wait, go back, go back. It just had that we did 14 There were responses. Likes. Oh, those you were the put, notifications. Like, real so there were like of 15 yourself. of them. Of myself? Yeah. I so could... Why wouldn't we just do my OK Cupid? No, no, no. Because I, 14... I have pictures oh, of you where likes. I can cut off the head. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. See who likes you. Let's see who likes us. Oh, okay. Let's respond to those oh, bitches. Oh, no. That's, that's oh. how you pay. All you have to do is pay $20 Ooh, you a month. Fucking or kidding $40 me? a month. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this shit, me? man. That's, ins- that's ridiculous. The fucking, they're always trying to get your money, yo. That's what my girlfriend was telling me See, about. I don't... She was, like, trying to find women on Bumble. Said, because I'm, she's, like, in it. I'm glad Chloe and I met on, like, at grad school. We didn't pay for anything. We, like, I said, hey, um, you want to go for a movie? You paid to date her and then Free. marry her. But still, the, the, uh, to get started was free. Um, How much was your date to the movies? That was not free. I'll give you grad school. It's pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, grad school also was not free. <laughs> uh, but you didn't have to pay a monthly subscription fee. That was no, called tuition. No. <laughs> that's, a monthly, that's a yearly, yearly fee. subscription. You paid up front for the year. <laughs> mm. All right, we're we're yeah, headed to okay. bed. I was gonna say, gotta, if you could yeah, start a dating like service, how would you I do it be before we end? Free. Free, but no, but how you you don't make money off free. Well, that's how like Tinder and Bumble started. You do with ads. 
it's your free yeah it's free and then there's ads and then it's like oh if you want to talk to someone without them swiping right on you then you pay or, or i just make everything but okay a dollar no i feel like it's how do you get guys to give a percentage of their net worth and then we and we tell you how much they gave that's a matchmaking service and then the women the women get to see how much they that's, gave. That's, that's literally a match right? service. Right? That, that exists. Yeah. Is that how that works? Because that's perfect. Yeah, like, women so get like, to see how much they gave, and then they can know they ain't lying about that salary. The matchmaking hmm. services is, like, you pay up front, and then they will, like, try to match you with people. So, like... Like, but no, 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 there no, no. was a, there was literally a show called Millionaire Matchmaker. So like the guy had to make X amount, and then they would try to match make you with women that like fit your profile. Hmm. Huh. That's not a bad idea though. Okay. And then yeah. they'd have like Something mixers, like and then with all the women that you met, like they would try to fit like three people, and then you go on like three dates, and then oh. you would like. But I feel like there should be more though. Like I feel like the guys should all get tested. Like not just money. But, I thought like, you meant STDs. Be able to do that's what I thought too. I was like, that's that? a no. really good idea. Okay. I'm also, STDs. Actually, when I think yeah, about well, it, probably. But they should idea. also do like thirty push-ups. Like you, we should count the number of push-ups can a man you do 30 can do. Thirty push-ups. Probably not. I don't know. Maybe. Well, Zach. Can't but I want them that. to count the number I can do because I think I can beat a lot of guys. <laughs> and they write down the number, right? Like you should. So the guys should go into like a room. They should bring their last six years W-2. <laughs> they do push-ups. They do, like, a whole Nick. set. And then, like, they get up and they tell jokes. Nick, I have so like, they much got, they got to have a personality. That you think men should go through so many hoops I like... up with women. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. That's the, that's the way and it then, is. Okay, hang on, hang on. And then the women will, like, judge. Hang on, I got to And then they get, they, they get the dates. Is that because what? you think that women should have, like, the pick? Women do have the pick. They, they always do, even even at OK saying, Cupid. That's not they what do. society tells us. Society tells us that if we don't pick a man, we're oh, gonna die do. an old cat lady. Oh, you you still will. You will if you don't pick. Oh somebody. no, but you'll live longer, according to science. But I feel like you should have a clear picture of the guy that you're gonna pick. But I, I think I uh, know. But have I think salary, that's awesome. That I, I literally think that that's awesome. All. That you should get it all. You're like women should I, should have I a like... room full of men doing push-ups and telling comedy jokes. Your your dating <laughs> app is basically yeah. the guy goes through like a uh, like a marathon, yeah. like a four-hour like Amer- obstacle American course. American warrior ninja. <laughs> yeah. American ninja. Yeah, this ninja is great. Warrior. I think this is. It great actually thing seems like a great idea. idea. I found this. And then the women will, like, you know, they choose. And they compete. They bid. And then, Oh, yeah. Here's, here's the I part will for bid the women. With pussy. Because it's, it's bad for the men, but the women will have to bid. Like, I will do three hours per day of domestic housework. Like, I will. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. So you're, I will suck your dick 45 for, times every year. So you're looking for a trad wife. 45 times for you get a dick husband, sucked. Right? That's, what you're, you're, that's what you're talking about. What's you're that? looking for, like, a trad wife and a trad husband. I'm assuming that means traditional. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is totally for straight people. Well, <laughs> it's no, 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 like no, an that's auction what I'm talking system. about. It's like. After the man has, after the man has gone to through the suite of tests. Wait. The woman has to bid, and they have to say like how many times they'll fuck you, how many times they'll suck your dick, Nick, how and their measurements. How much they'll do, and they, big, they big have energy. to do a test for cooking too. They have to be able to cook and clean, and they have to be able to do all that. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, just list your skills. But, Whether it's yeah. cooking, cleaning, no, or no, fucking. No, 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 not list. They have to be tested. No bullshit. Oh, they have to be tested no on bullshit. fucking. She's a six out of ten on the fucking scale. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like that's literally. She can suck a dick. I know. <laughs> But I'm just saying that's kind of like heterosexual dating right now. It's like, okay, I make a hundred thousand dollars a year. How much can you yeah, make? And if lie, you can't make you that much, know. how much can you do in housework? Can your dick or can your dick? Can your mouth suck a hundred thousand dollars worth? Well, can your dick fuck a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> worth? Especially if the woman is making six figures. No, that's what I was saying. If the guy had a hundred thousand. <laughs> And he it, and the size of the dick too. Yeah, that's like, got to be on there. Like okay, I got an eight incher. The smaller the you dick, gotta, the bigger you, the money you gotta, better you be. T- you got to okay. be able to take Hang that on. whole eight incher in Hang there. Hang on, if we're going traditional, where like the woman stays at home, has the kids, 
does the house no, work? Hang on, no, no, no. I'm asking an if, an if scenario. He's just saying those are things you should be tested no, no, on. No, 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 no. I'm just saying in an if scenario. So yeah. if a woman, if, if a woman doesn't have a job, but she will, like, have mm-hmm. your kids, do the housework, raise the kids, cook your meals, have sex with you, how much do you think should a man be making in order for that to be equal? Well, it also depends on how hot she Hang is on, and shut up. Else, right? I'm not, yeah, I'm asking Nick. Yeah. So, like, if we're talking traditional and everyone has to go through these hoops, if she does not have a job but she's doing everything else, how much should the man make? The, okay, it's not a set number. It's the amount in the given location. Okay, well, say that... you're in where you are in California. Yeah. If she is going to not work... Let's say she does have a job, uh-huh. but let's say if she marries you, quits her job, has your kids, raises your kids, has sex with you, uh, is basically like your bang maid, whatever, how much should the man be okay. making? In in our area, it's 200k because you I was going to say lot like in that area, yeah. Yeah, you should have you should have a room for every child. Well, that's why I'm saying like because house. like for some people in, in order to supplement that income if both of the people want to go to work, then you have to pay for a child to care. You have to pay for like a nanny. Sometimes you might. Have... It's basically, it's basically what puts you in the middle class. Yeah. In the the middle class in your location. Yeah. So is what like if, you would be like if she's not going to work. But I think she's also going to do it. everything else, including like have your kids and stuff. Then the man needs to make what two hundred k. Yeah. About that, like if you wanted to get in the California area, like a big enough a house, a house, then it's what, like, how many times your income to buy a house? It might be more than 200k. I'm just saying, like, some people might be willing to be, work the extra amount to make sure that their wife doesn't have to work so she can literally do all of the work. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that so makes sense. Middle class, that's basically it. You have to make a middle class income. Because that's, like, the thing. Because it's, like, if you're not cleaning your house and you're not raising your children, you will have to outsource that to a third party. As you're, by yourself, you make a middle-class income. Yeah, so, like, yeah, then one person in the family income. will have to, yeah. yeah. No, that makes sense. And then at that point. But, 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 you don't have to do many push-ups. Exactly, that's what I was Well, asking. yeah, we already said that the if, higher if, your yeah, net worth, the you, lower yeah. everything else can be. Yeah, if you can do a lot of push-ups, then, then baby, you get in something else. But you gotta work a little. Yeah, so it's, it's exactly... Yeah, girl, you're gonna have to waitress in West Hollywood. I feel like this app is just how real life yeah. actually works anyway. Weighs <laughs> in a little yeah. bit. I think this is... A, yeah, but it cuts out the bullshit. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 like, maybe they do make that much. Maybe yeah, they yeah. Can, I can't... I can't look at a person and you're, judge how much you're basically they making do. the things that people don't want to talk about, but they know they're gonna figure out eventually with dating. Yeah, so like yeah. just up front. Nick, you said you can't oh, do thirty push-ups, oh, but you health, might be able by to the do way, that's a ten big part push-ups. Of the app. But you make up for the other twenty push-ups with income. Yeah, exactly. And mental health, by the way, I think. I think there needs to be a psychiatrist on both huh. ends. That's very important. It'd be like, this guy won't beat the shit out of my puppy and throw him against the wall. <laughs> and this girl oh my will God, slash my tires circles. and start like start looking through all my texts. And any woman I said something to, they will like, who's that down bitch? and murder them. And I'm done. <laughs> Who that bitch? It's, it literally like, says mom. It says out. mom. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got to get to bed. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Have All right. fun. Later. Later.